That seat over there is vacant. Tony, you're breaching my privilege by sitting on a seat reserved for me. Father, tell Tony to get out of my seat. Elders of Mbanta. Igwe. You're welcome. In the spirit of the Aquali Festival, we're about to celebrate. I welcome you to this palace. I don't want you to set the table yet, but make sure that everything is ready so that as soon as he comes out, he eats. Okay? Yes, Your Majesty. Things are gradually getting out of hand. And in as much as I've always hated acknowledging it, everybody has a limit to what he can endure. What, what, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the obvious but unnecessary rivalry that Tony is fostering between the two of us. Mama, he has taken it to the limits and I won't tolerate it anymore. It's a son, please, just calm down. What happened? We got to the throne room and Tony left his seat and sat on mine. I asked him to leave my seat and he refused. When I called father's attention to this, he ignored me and went on to address the others. How, how could they? Why would your father do a thing like that? They might not have an answer to that just as I would not be expected to give an answer to such question when I hit back at them. What is your problem? Fire. Fire. Big fire. There's fire on the mountain. <laughs> there is an old saying. I refuse to run if I don't know who or what is after me. Uh, yes. Wait. You think I'm joking, right? No, no, wait. You think this is a joke? Solomon, this is a very, very dry joke. Did you see any laughter on my face? Let me ask you. If Prince Anthony and Prince Collins officially decide to declare war among themselves in this palace, will you back one of them up? Or will you on your own voluntarily decide to leave the palace? Until they declare that war. Sometimes it seems to me like you are insane, like you've gone mad. This has nothing to do with madness, oh. You're mad, Solomon. This is a very, very serious matter. As I'm talking to you right now, the throne room is boiling, boiling very high. Prince Collins has just declared war and had left the throne. So furious was his anger that when he was coming out of the room, I quickly had to abandon my I quickly had to abandon my duty post and took to my heels. I'm very, very sure this is one of your jokes. This must be one of your silly jokes, Solomon. Ha. Okay, no problem. Silly jokes, Abi. No wahala. But if it is a joke, go ahead and laugh. Laugh very well. 
okay but if it is not if it is not my brother you will know that i have never been more serious in my entire life so where where where, where, where are you going to now cover serious cover i'm going to take cover until this whole thing dies down completely yes and if you don't want and if you don't want them or anybody to order you to beat up one prince or the other you better do the same thing the royal majesty i'm suggesting we officially reach out to neighboring towns to this Aquali first table. And would you have my support on that? Okay. It is a wonderful suggestion. Thank you. Um, Your Majesty. Yes. My Prince. Heirs of Mbanta, I greet you all. You see, when a people lose sight of where they are coming from, they become like proverbial man who doesn't know where rain started beating him. And we certainly not know where it will stop to beat him. You are the true son of your father, Ogwejafo. Thank you, Honora. Your Majesty, what I'm trying to say is that for the fact we remember and honor our hero's past, Prosperity will not fail to remember us. And we will continue a quality festival to remind us of the sacrifices that our past warriors made for this great kingdom. We have to continue with this Aquali festival. Once again, I greet you all. Nzo Gwe Jofo, Your Majesty. Eboro Hie Hunata. Hmm? In fact, you spoke to the very depth of my heart. Yes. We will continue to build on the visions of the warriors of Umbanta. We will continue to foster peace and prosperity among our people. Hmm? Yes, at this time, at this point in time, let us deliberate on how to make the Sierra Kuali Festival memorable. Coming. Brother. What is it? You don't look good at all. Nothing to worry you. I thought you were in the train room with father, but the guard I sent to check on you said you were not there. Whatever it is that made you left that place and kept you in this mood is something I should be worried about. Mary, I'm not in the right frame of mind to discuss anything right now. Can we talk about it later? Maybe. Fair enough. Immaculate is here to see you. Is the meeting over? Yes, madam. I just want to personally report to you to beg 
but I'm talking to you and you're walking away. I can see I'm not important to you because I'm not Collins. So because you want to report Collins to me, every other thing I have to do must be discarded, right? Not exactly, ma'am. But the truth is that I understand that I'm not your first son. But all the same, I need not remind you that I'm someone else's first son too. Never ever talk to me in that manner again. I am your mother. And Collins is my son too. What did the king say about it? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. How can something like that happen and the king will say nothing? You know, this is not the first time that things like this happened and nothing was done about it. But this time, I'm going to make sure that something is done about this. Oh, that's my man talking. Come here. Thank you. I trust you. Well, in as much as I will allow you to use your discretion. Always remember that as tiny little drops of water make an ocean, so will these tiny injustices against you build up a tsunami that could sweep you away. Your Majesty, I do not have the authority to speak on the matter I'm about to go into. But as a childhood friend and a confidant, let me crave indulgence to speak freely. <coughs> Anora, this your formality can become quite annoying. It's not necessary. What is the problem? Collins and Tony are both your children. Like we all know, the okra cannot grow more than a planter. I humbly suggest you do something about this feud between them. Thank you. It's not as if I have not been doing something in that direction. But you know, boys, boys will be boys. And some of them can be quite stubborn. To we, their parents, they are the okra. Yes, and we always try to bend them. We all witnessed what happened here a while ago. And we all exclusively know that this seat belongs to Collins, who will take over from you when you join your ancestors. Honora, thank you very much. You may go home now. Igwe, you know these boys are capable of doing damaging mistakes. And you are the regent of Cats! Cats! Come and take this thing away from here! How I hate to hear that word regent! How I hate it! 
Anthony, why are you trying to create problems where there is none? <laughs> now I'm a troublemaker, right? You just called me a troublemaker because I sat on the seat that is rightfully mine. A seat reserved for only the first son of the family. And may I ask, what is your definition of a first son? You're lost. Your definition of a first son is it paternally or maternally? I don't know what you're talking about. But I need you to know that you are creating problems where none ever existed. There is no gain saying that Collins has been sitting on that chair since I can remember. And I want you to also remember that I sit on that chair now and so it shall be. The prayer of every good father is for the son to be greater than him. I do not wish any less for your son. Thank you, Father. I want you to see whatever that is happening to you now, whatever that is happening around you now, as the premium prize, as the highest prize you must pay for where you're going. You know gold, don't you? Yes, sir. Gold is good. Gold is beautiful. Gold is unique. It is desirable. But gold must pass through fire. In order to get to that desirous state. Sim goes with you, son. I want you to know that I will never be alive. I will never live and allow anything that will come to you be given to another person. It will not happen. Do you understand me, son? Yes, Father. Good. I'm very grateful, Father. Thank you very much. Your Majesty, there's a more you to see. King that what his second son did at the palace was wrong. Instead of acting it up, calling Tony to order, he acted against me. He ordered me out of the palace. It's a lie. Don't just tell me it happened. I'm telling you the king ordered me out of his palace. Oborosi Gini. Gini Nemeni Ifenka. Why is he suddenly behaving as if he doesn't know that that throne belongs to Prince Collins? Eh? I didn't find it funny when I watched that young man walked away from all that important meeting and the king pretended and behaved as if nothing happened. Eh? What is happening? You can see that he has positioned that throne to Tony. Can't you see it? I am afraid that that man doesn't know the nature and the gravity of the problem that he is brewing in his family. He doesn't know anything at all. Your Majesty, the monkey that wants to eat palm fruit from the bunch will succeed, but not without a bloodied mouth, as the tongues will not spare it. 
Igwe. Igwe. How much gunpowder do we have that we should continue trying to shoot down the moon? Azamoa, I know where you're going. I am the dog that refuses to settle for only the warmth of the fireplace because it had been denied the food that was cooked by that same fire. Your Majesty, I am only the mouthpiece of the gods and I have delivered the message they gave me. I have always believed that men like us have what it takes to put the slippery water yam in a mortar and pound it into thick pounded yam. Unless you want to uh, tell me that uh, you are no longer one of those men. <laughs> Your Majesty, I am Ezemwa, the demigod who pushes a man and tells him where to fall. I am that chief priest who takes meat from the mouth of a roaring lion and gives the same lion fan to fan me while I roast the meat. Oh, Janamo! <laughs> That's it. I know you. Even without saying it, there's a more. You don't need to tell me about yourself. I know. And that's why I wonder why the Ezemo I know. Why a man of your caliber, a man that has defied all odds, cannot convince the gods that my son is both competent and qualified to succeed me. Please tell her, please come and I'm here to see you. Oh, unfortunately, it's not around. God. It's terrible what this network providers do. I tried several times to reach him on the phone, but I couldn't connect. Well, the network has been crappy for a while now. Have you not noticed that you only receive calls? And even when you try to make a phone call, you keep dialing and dialing and it still won't connect. The atrocities, the list, the litany of the atrocities is unending. And we have a regulatory body that is supposed to... Ah, as if they are listening to what I'm saying. <laughs> do, you, do you have any idea when he's going to come back? Don't even start asking about him because you heard me coming. Please, Anthony. If it's your greeting you want to do next, please skip it. I don't know. Um, well, I, I intended to ask if you're, if you're all right. Did I just perceive a sign of sarcasm in what you just said now? Anthony, what is wrong? Sister, you want to know what is wrong? I'll tell you what is wrong. What is wrong is that I will not allow the smooth operator to deceive you like he's been deceiving Collins. Anthony! There's no need to be rude, Your Highness. I know you don't like me, but... But what? I really don't like it when cheap commoners get cheeky with me. What is it? That your Collins' friend does not give you the right to talk back at me. You hear me?
princess. Tell Prince Collins that I, I came to check on him. Edmund, are you aware that my sister Mary is getting ready for marriage? Of course I know. Then, I don't want you and I will not take it if your lying tongues come here to distract her. You hear me? Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Please don't take whatever I said to heart. He's... It's alright. I understand. And please, can you not tell Collins about this? I will not tell him. I thought he's just in a bad mood. He's not honest. It's okay. Thank you. Should I get you anything? What's up? No, don't, don't, don't bother yourself. I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. Uh. Yeah, I'm fine. Uncle Ibe, it's rather very unfortunate that things are the way they are now. I never bargained for the growing ill treatment I'm getting in that palace right now. I never bargained for it. From all you told me, it's obvious that the king is scheming to deny you of what rightfully belongs to you. But why would he do a thing like that? I was raised with the impression that I will be handed over the throne of Mbanta as soon as I come of age. Now I'm a graduate. I earn money and I'm capable of taking decisions and responsibilities as a man. Prince Collins, I cannot say that I never imagined the possibility of Caesar denying you of your father's throne. Since he stopped people addressing him as a regent but as a king, I knew that handing over to you will not be an easy thing. You know, to be honest, I never had any problems with him sitting on that throne. But making it obvious to me that Tony will succeed him is one hard, bitter pill to swallow. See, the people of Mbanta respect their custom and tradition. And they will never allow this to happen. Even if they do, your mother's people are no cowards. Thank you very much, Uncle. I know I can always count on you. You're always welcome. How did you travel all the way from Mbanta to Benin Kingdom? <laughs> that is a story for another day. <laughs> now, Umeji continued to work in the palace of the then Oba of Benin. And when the white men began to set up schools, he was one of those that they sent to school. Wow! <laughs> that must be a great privilege for him to work in the Oba's palace. Of course! He did very well in school. And because his brilliance outstanded the white man, he was eventually brought back home and was made a warrant chief. Interesting! <laughs> I've heard so much about warrant chiefs. I never knew we had a warrant chief in this house. And a brilliant one at that. He was actually the person that carved out Mbanta from Obodogo. And because he understood and spoke the white man's language, he was revered. <laughs> he ruled over Mbanta for 85 years. And when he eventually died, my late husband took over as, as the first son. But sadly, he died in his prime after I had Collins. <sighs> Must have been really hard for you then. You cannot imagine what it was like for me. When I, when I discovered that there were plans to kill Collins, I had no other choice than to marry your father. Then I, I had Tony and you. I 
Priscilla has always belonged to Collins. I really don't know why it's so difficult for Anthony to accept it. The king is his biological father. And he believes he's the one to succeed him. My daughter, this is not our tradition. No sane mother will allow her two sons engage in a fight that a little bit of discretion will solve. It's not as if I am trying to push him into doing what he doesn't want to do. Eh? My problem with him is that he has allowed himself to be played for a very long time. <laughs> Ima, does that mean you don't like gentlemen? Vivian, Collins is, is not even that kind of gentleman. It's just that he has allowed a lot of things to, to, to go over his head. Were you not the same person that was telling me about how romantic your Collins is? So what's with the sudden change of perspective? What? If things go the way he's telling me. He may lose out as the next king of Mbanta. Eh? Eh. Ima, Ima, mommy. So, this is what you girls intend to do today, eh? Mommy, good morning, mommy. I've had my bath. I'm just getting ready to go to work. Getting ready to go to work? What about breakfast? Is your father going to go to work on an empty stomach? No. Eh? No, I'm going to prepare You better do so. I know you're not in a very good mood. But going without food is to the detriment of your health. You can't go on like this, brother. Please come, let's go and eat. Mary, I don't know how else to tell you that I'm not hungry. It will be worth my going out there and picking my food in front of everybody. I may even spoil other people's appetite. Your Highness, Edmund is here to see you. I'll tell him I'll join him soon. Hello. Hello. Sorry, this is A guy just came to inform Prince Collins you were around. Thought I should come remind you not. Oh, come on. I promised you I was not going to pray the word of what happened to Prince Collins. Okay, then. <laughs> um, we're about to have breakfast. It won't be a bad idea if you join us. Thanks. I will take a ring check on that. You're sure? Yeah. Okay, then. Prince Collins. Thank you. Excuse me. He has a guest that will join us soon. He would have eaten first before attending to the guest. I need to say, I need to say why I'm here before I lose the courage to say it. Hey, hey, you're getting me worried, man. What is it? I need you to be very careful in whatever you do. You have my attention. Come on, man. Come on, Ed, man. Tell me, tell me what is it. Stop beating about the bush, man. Why, tell me. You were poisoned. 
how? When? Where? You need to calm down. You know, you were not poisoned, you know, for real. It was just a dream I had. You know I don't joke with my dreams. This is a tricky situation for me now. I, I am just in a very tricky situation now. So, you're joking about my being poisoned is hardly what I want I to say. I just told you I don't joke with my dreams. I heard you're taking a stance against what I intend to do for my son. I don't know why you have a problem with that. But I want you to understand. You should do the right thing. Instead of pitting my two sons against each other. Caroline, stay out of this. I am the head of this family. And it's in the best interest of this family that I'm taking this decision to go out. I, I get it. What did you say? Mother, you were not listening to me. I was telling you about my life. I was thinking about your life, Collins. No matter how much belief you have in what your friend told you, I want you to see it for what it is, a dream. No one can poison you in this house. Poison? <laughs> Mother, I heard that. Brother, who is trying to poison you? Guess you head wrong. Um, Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. Alright, if you say so. Great. Your life is not in danger in this house. When your father died, Everyone knew you were next in line. Those who were eyeing the throne wanted to kill you. But Caesar protected you. He will not allow anything happen to you here. Father, what I'm saying is, in as much as Collins is not your son, he's your other brother's son, and Anthony and I are yours. We are all your children. We come from the same mother. Go ahead. I want you to do everything you can to bring this looming feud between Collis and Anthony to an end. I've heard you. Hmm? See, I... I want you to realize that this issue is far above your comprehension and competence. Well, it's a big one. Now, Mary, I... I why don't you... Um, you know, get hold of issues and, you know, matters that you can very easily come to grips with, you know, that you can easily grasp. I guess you're not happy I'm talking about this. I know, I don't really know much about the culture and tradition of Umbanta Kingdom, but one thing I know for sure, as soon as a man becomes uncomfortable in his own house, Accusing fingers will be pointed at everyone in the house. Child, what are you talking about? Father 
Collins is not your biological son. And should anything happen to him right now, keeping a hold on the throne will be motive enough for the police to point accusing fingers at you. <laughs> Mary, come on. I think you have. You misunderstand the entire thing. Huh? I, you're not making any comprehensible meaning. Huh? Collins does not feel safe in this house. He feels... He feels someone is trying to poison him. What? Harry. In his own house. Oh, come on, Mary. In your own house. In my own house. Daughter mine, in our own house. How is that possible? Come on. Eh? So Collins is safe. Perfectly safe. I don't know where you're getting all this, your spurious ideas from. Huh? This is Collins' very house. He's been part of family. He is family. Come on, daughter mine, look at me. Are you doubting it? Have you ever doubted it? Come on. That's right. That's right. Everything is all right. He's safe. Thank you, Father. But I have to leave you now. Okay. I'll leave you now. By truth and justice, a kingdom stands. But by lies, it falls apart. over and over again. But one thing keeps coming. I've tried to ignore it, but I wouldn't. Agreed your phone. Go straight to the point. What I'm saying is that I have refused to accept that His Majesty is planning to make Prince Anthony his successor without the support of SMO. How can you say a thing like that? SMO cannot condescend so low and go against the tenants of this community. <laughs> My brother, nothing is impossible. Nothing. Ogwejofo, Ezemo is he mad? He's the custodian of all we hold sacred. How can he be caught in such an outrageous act? You are talking as if you have forgotten that when death wants to kill a dog, it will first of all make it mad. And if death has marked Ezemo, let him go against the laws of equity, fairness, and justice. I hope I'm wrong. I just hope I'm wrong. Choma, I heard the queen nearly slapped his teeth off his mouth today. You don't see. I tell you. This one is a new one on you. I mean, what could you have done to make the queen so angry as to slap Prince Anthony? My dear, I'm really not sure. But I heard he sat on the seat reserved for Prince Collins. Why would he do a thing like that? So you just asked the person who sat the seat for them, right? Sorry, it was one who asked questions. To know me. You just missed this one now. Hurry up, I hear you, my daughter. <laughs> 
horrible. There is a way things will be, and it will be evil of an elder like me to keep quiet. That is why I've come so that we can talk. Uncle, I don't think we'll have time to talk over what you have You come. will have to hear me out, my son. It is with sadness that I receive the news of what is going on between you and Collins in this house. Why must my nephews be fighting each other? Uncle, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I'm not fighting with anybody. I'm only asking for what is rightly mine. Collins is your elder brother. He is not only the first son of your father, but also the first son in this family. And I need not remind you too that I'm also the first son of my father. Or do you have a problem with that? I don't have any problem with that. All I'm soliciting for is peaceful coexistence between you and your brother. Give him the respect he deserves. And I believe he will reciprocate. Sir, and let me remind you. My father sits on the throne of Mbanta for now. And so it shall be until he finishes running his course here on earth. And the throne automatically comes back to me. I am nobody's slave. What's going on? I just saw Tony walk out in anger. Princess, I don't know what to tell you, but it's obvious all is not well. Nelson, it's, uh, I used to think highly of you before, but... Um... Your Highness, have I done anything wrong? Nothing. But if you're not careful, something is going to go wrong very soon. What are you talking about? I'm oblivious of the fact that you're not aware that the marriage between you and my sister Mary is at the verge of falling through. Your Highness, what is it that I need to know? You know Edmund, my brother's mischievous friend? Of course, I know Edmund. I've come to the realization that Edmund did not come to this palace only to hang out with Collins. But he has an ulterior motive to take Mary away from you. Your Highness, are you serious about this? I can't be joking with a matter as this serious. In that case, I have to take everything very serious about this issue. Good. And I need to let you know too that he has my brother's support, Collins, and that of my mom. So whatever you need to do, my advice for you is do it fast and good. Your Highness, I'm very grateful. Thank you for the advice. Excuse me. My friend, this is a palace, not a refuse dump or an abandoned site. I want things put in order in this place. Collins, 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 let this be the first and last time you go around talking to people who will come here to give me unsolicited advice. Excuse me, I would appreciate it if you step out of my sight this minute. And if I don't get out of your sight, what will happen? You will see the wrong side of me. Oh. Threatening me in my own father's house? This is my house too. No, this is not your father's house. And you don't have any right going around talking to people who have time to listen to your tale of war. Tony, be careful how you talk to me. What if I don't? And let me tell you, as the future king of Mbanta, I have every right to talk to whoever I choose and in whatever manner I choose to talk to the person. You know, you sure have an overrated view of yourself. But you will soon realize that it's your wrong choice trying to stand up to me. Brother, have you seen what my son is turning into? And his father is not even helping matters. He didn't even allow me to talk. If he could treat me as such, I wonder what he could do to others that may want to advise him. Iwe! Mazibe, I thought you 
came to see your sister. And the report I've just got tells me otherwise. Your Majesty, I do not understand. Why are you people hounding Anthony to death? Your Majesty, my actions are honestly far from that. Are you aware of the fact that your sister nearly slapped off Anthony's face for no just cause? Your Majesty, are you in any way saying that I do not have the ability to discipline my own child if he steps out of line? Is that what you're saying? I don't want anybody stirring up problems for me in this house. I still remain the head of this family. Unless perhaps both of you want to tell me to my face that I'm no longer capable of taking decisions in my own house. You are taking this thing too far, Your Majesty. I don't want this issue discussed ever again. I don't want anybody talking about Anthony, how or why Anthony should sit on any particular seat or sits on any particular chair in the throne room. Never again. Nelson. Nelson? Nelson. Hi there. Edmund is greeting you. I don't want to greet him. Edmund. Nelson. Is there something going on that you guys are not telling me? If there is anything to be told, I think I'm... Um, Nelson is in a better position to do so. Obviously, he's the angry one here. Nelson. What is it? What's wrong? I said I don't just want to greet him. Or are you telling me I don't have the right to greet who I choose to greet and who I don't choose to greet? I don't want to greet him. Take care of yourself. Nelson. Nelson. What was that about? Mary, if you want to know, I will spill it. Tell me, is there anything going on between you and him? I beg your pardon. You heard me. I didn't speak swily. Wait. Are you insinuating that I'm having an affair with Edmund? You know what? It's not important. As you can see, I was on my way out. I guess I'll take some of it. Easy. Easy. Well, I'm sorry about that. I was just angry about... That what? That what, Nelson? I was just about coming to plead with you as his childhood friend to talk to him. My brother, you have done what a consigned well wisher could do. You see, it's like a goat who lies in field to spite its owner. 
only for it to realize that it's lying on its own skin. My little nephew has grown so much wings to the extent that he looks me on the face to insult me terribly. What is this world turning to? It is only a man who knows what the world is turning to that we answer that question. Only God knows what he told his father that made him come to my sitting room where I was sitting with my sister to scold me like a child. I wonder what kind of upbringing parents give to their children these days. You are even lucky the king insulted you in presence of your sister. In my own case, he ordered me out of his palace. What? My childhood friend. <laughs> it's your honor. I rest my case. One who goes to nurse a baby cannot still wait behind if the baby dies. There are some certain painful things that can kill parents faster than guns. And that is exactly what you and your brother are doing at the moment. You see, I am trying so hard to convince myself that you do not want to send me to an early grave. Mother, how can you think about such a thing? That is exactly what you're doing. Me, how? Anthony, I'm sure you would not want Mother to die prematurely. That's why I'm lending her my voice to plead. That you please take this thing easy. Try and settle whatever you have with Colin. So, listen, listen, listen. Now you're blaming me for the problem between me and Collins, right? Well, what I am asking for is for both of you to calm down and take things easy. Mom, I am not the right person for you guys to talk to. I am absolutely the wrong person. I am not the one going around places telling people about the problems in this family. Which I can't even find that problem. Therefore, if, a, if there's anyone to be talked to, it's Collins. You all should go look for him and talk some sense into him. And this thing will be over. You envy me. Prince Collins. How could someone like you envy me? What is it that I have that you don't have? Nothing. But I can count millions of things that you have that I don't have and I might not have. So why envy me? Come off it. Come off it, Nelson. I was just talking about the fact that you're getting married soon. I mean, that's a huge commitment. Joe. <laughs> well, thanks. I take it as a compliment. But you and I know that there are thousands of girls out there who not think twice to marry you. If you propose to them. <laughs> I'm happy for you all the same, Nelson. And I will do all I can to see that you and my sister have a spectacular wedding. Thank you, Miss Carlos. Hi, hi. Hi, okay. hi there. Oh, well. I guess I have to leave the two lovebirds alone. Oh, not so fast, brother. Please, could you just um, keep him company a little while while I get something for him? Well, uh, in that case, I have to go and see the king. Maybe by the time I'm done with him, the food will be ready. Okay, fine then. <laughs> Sit yourself. But I just want to ensure I do the cooking by myself. 
Well, my stomach is wet. <laughs> you know, the spark between both of you is amazing. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Um, please, if you'd excuse me, I need to start immediately. Thank you, my prince. I have to see the king. And I have to take my rest. Now that you are ready for the wedding, we will all join hands together and make it a wedding to remember. Thank you, Your Highness. Ask your father to join you when next you're coming. So that we will all sit here and begin a proper planning for the wedding. Thank you once again, Your Highness. I will do just that. Good. Honestly, it is funny how Igwe has refused to reason with anybody. But come on, between the two, who do you think will eventually match victoriously? Ah, Wadike, it is it not unfair to use the destruction that face another man's family to see who is better in predicting tomorrow? Ah, see, when a man discards his calabash. His neighbors will definitely kick it around or even use it to take away garbage. Uh, you are right. But then, if a man lacks understanding, it is also the duty of his kinsman to put him right. That is when the man is ready to marry. As it is now, uh, me... all we need to do is to pray for the royal family. That's all. Yes. Um, what if Igwe succeeds? in securing that truth for Prince Anthony. All we have to do is to pray for wisdom to be a companion in this trying time. Let the man that is destined to rule win the war <laughs> among the two. After all they said, a man that kills his brother is not classified as a warrior. Ah. Yes. Anyway, let the battle begin. What? Is it the battle of superiority of strength or an intellectual supremacy? Either way, battle is good. Uh, what the character is? I don't agree with you. Okay. I don't, I don't Did I hear you say please? I thought you would have punched me in the face and pushed me aside. You want a punch? Why not? Come on, boy. Give me your best shot. Collins, if you're looking for something to go report to the whole world again, then it's not me. I'll let you go this time. I love dogs that know when to tuck in their tails in between their legs and run to safety in the face of danger. Collins, I'm not just ready for your tear tricks right now. I thought as much. Excuse me. There is 
no point asking you if she offers you something. You're right, Your Majesty. As you can see, my mouth is full. I know. Well, let me allow you to enjoy your meal, okay? That's the right word. Obviously, I'm enjoying the meal. I can say here that my queen, your princess, learned from the best. Of course, I learned from the best. And my mama here is the best. <laughs> <laughs> you children will not kill me with flattery. Enjoy your meal, son. Excuse me. <laughs> Say describing your meal as delicious is the best word closer to it all. Mm. I'm enjoying it. Nelson, so now you want me to blow in your flattery? Baby, I'm not flattering you. You're good. It's Thank delicious. You, You're the best cook there is. <laughs> Thank you, darling. All right. Let me back here. Mm. 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 But, Mama, I don't think it's fair for you to expect us to live our lives the way your generation lived theirs. What are you talking about? Mama, I know Papa has always insisted that we don't bring men into this house. But Mama, don't you think it's right for parents to know the man that is in their daughter's lives? Come, 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 Vivian. What has this your talk now have to do with the, 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 the marriage that I'm discussing with Mama? I'm glad you know your father stands on issues like that. See, in case you don't know, the man that wants to marry you will marry you regardless of Papa's rules and regulations. Do you hear? So don't put out your head. When I get married, eh, you will come and live with me. I'll marry a very wealthy man, no? You know, I'll not settle for less. So you come and stay with us. Eh, ma. Mm -hmm. If I leave my house and come and stay with you, yeah. live with you, who will live with your father here? That's not the question now. If you stay with Vivian. <laughs> but you, you will come. We'll have a mansion with plenty made to. Ima, if you want Mama to stay with you, you have to make provisions for her husband. Because you will not leave him. Oh. Oh, please. Stay with him, is your father. <laughs> you kids are funny. <laughs> you should get married first. Before thinking about taking me to God knows where. <laughs> no, you will come, Joe. Let's do it with me. Yeah. Emma, I will come and stay with you. If I'm coming, my husband will come and live with us too. Uh -huh, that's what I'm saying. Oh. I'm leaving. <clears throat> As a mo, I thank you for the call or not. <laughs> you see, Vulture said it will always be grateful to God for sparing the life of elders so that they can remind the young ones that their kind are never considered delicacy. <laughs> mm, that is true. Yes. <laughs> that is true. You are the custodian of our ancient culture and tradition, which has been handed over from generation to generation. There's a more we respect what you stand for. Agwe Giovanni. <clears throat> Mbanta is great because it has never lacked the dread of well-meaning individuals like you. Yes, but that greatness Mbanta has always boasted of is about to be trampled upon. Just like an Iroko tree is a moor. Once it is falling, even women will turn to it to fetch firewood. Let us not allow Mbanta to fall. God forbid Mbanta will never fall. There is an evil wind blowing in the palace right now. And you know, Evil wind blows no one good. I hope you understand what I am talking about. For the interest of generational continuity, I want you to personally talk to the king, make him to see reasons why an elder should not stay at home 
and allow goat to give birth in tetas. Please do that for me. I'm going to your father. Yes, I cannot claim ignorance of what you are saying. But what I will assure you is that I will speak with the king and make him see reasons. You see, as a well rest Igbo man, Prince Collins has respected our culture and tradition for not striving to become king while the man he calls father is still alive. That is a very big credit for him. Hmm? Why son? Ogwe Giovanni. Afunwa elotana. I have heard you. And I am sure that the gods of our land have heard you. Thank you. Thank you. Waited and I thank God you are here now. What is the reply? Igwe. What you ask of me is not impossible. Mm. You see, Igwe. It is only when the herbalist is well fed, well nourished, your majesty, well oiled, that he can go to the evil forest at the darkest of night to obtain the rarest of herbs and roots. Mm. Your majesty, to whom much is expected, much should be given. Only see you go. You know, ah, you have just thrown a, a fat, juicy bone to this dog. Forget. How this dog and the spirits we do a combat out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I beat you. Hey, I beat you. Hey, <laughs> you see, um, there's a more. It is necessary that you do everything within your power. Everything that is important to ensure that my son, Anthony, sits on this throne when I join my ancestors. Huh? I know that I have sent you out to catch the shrew, even with your bare hands. <laughs> but not to worry. I am going to give you Provide copious quantity of water with which you are going to wash your hands, eh? <laughs> your Majesty! Yeah! I believe you. Yes. Uh, I am. Uh, you see, Mother, what we must now do hmm, is to make sure that Anthony lights the fire of the past warrior at a Wally festival. <laughs> That's a good one. That's the clincher. Did you hear? Eh! Eh! You are the true son of your father. I am going to reward you bondlessly. Yes. Don't worry about that. 
has anything to do with Edmund. Mary, you will see the other side of me. I promise you. Mary, what is it? What is eating you up? Baby, Nothing. Come on. I'm doing just fine. I'm okay. <laughs> Come on. That's a big lie and you know it. Please talk to me. This is not the nursing I used to know. So, what is it? Which I said I'm okay. I'm okay. Nothing. Look, it's me. You're talking to Rita. Am I not your wife here anymore? So you hiding from me. Am I not your wife here anymore? I was just too confused. I didn't know what came over him. Look, this guy just smiled like someone that won a lottery and the next thing, he just stood up and walked out. Just like that? Just like that. Oh. And you're sure you didn't do anything to piss him off? <laughs> piss him off? I have never done anything to piss Nelson off. Never. Whoa, whoa, wait. Nelson? Who's Nelson? That is his name. I thought we were talking about your boyfriend, the one I know. Who is Nelson? Where is Nelson coming from? Well, Nelson is this new guy I just met. He's cute, sweet, charming and... But I don't know what came over him. I don't just know what came over Nelson. I'm just too confused. I'm confused. Babe. He was not like that. He's cute, sweet and charming. Girl, I don't know Nelson. So you're on your own on that one. Don't worry, you meet him someday. I'm not interested. Whatever. Yes, um, there's a more. This is a message I brought from the palace. Yes. Um, His Majesty said he's tired of seeing you walking the length and breadth of Mbanta, carrying out your priestly duties. So he asked me to give you this. His Majesty. Yes, yes. Give me this. Yes. <laughs> hey! Eh? 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 that's not all. How do you? Yeah. Uh, once you just press, once you press this one, yeah. See it. He also asked me to tell you that whatever you find in the truck of this car belongs to him. Says, hmm? He says, um, Tell His Majesty okay. that the message he sent, the smoke, has reached the heavens. Eh? May our ancestors continue to guide and protect him. It is well with him. 
Yes, yes, yes. If you want to open the drum, yeah. just press this one. Boom, one. It's open now? Yes, it's open. I lift it, yes. <laughs> All yours, says Emma. <laughs> so, it is well with you. Amen. You can go. <laughs> Let me take my leave. Hey, 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 How will I carry this guy inside now? His Majesty will have to do this call guys, so that I can move this guy inside my house. <laughs> I didn't know what that was all about and I still can't understand what influenced that action. Ed, I'm really sorry about Nelson and his jealousy. I knew something incited that action but I couldn't figure. Jealousy? Come on, I've never given him any reason to feel there's something going on between us. You know, the truth is, Anthony actually gave him the impression that you and I has something going on with us and uh, he thinks you come here because of me. What? <laughs> How could he say something like that? I, I don't even blame Anthony. I blame Nelson. This is a man I'm going to get married to. How, how, people, how can you just ask him what people tell you? It's like he doesn't know me well enough to believe the things I can do and the things I cannot do. Well, it's, it's alright. I've put everything behind me. I'm really sorry, please. I hope you're not taking it down. Don't, don't. I don't know. Oh, it's in the past now. Ah! It's your honor. Oh, great job. Hey, my. I'm on my way to your house. <laughs> I hope that is no problem. Uh, there is no really problem, but have you not heard? Heard what? You have not heard that Ezemo drive a car now. Ezemo? Ma'am, that is what I'm coming to tell you. Well, there is nothing wrong in Ezemo driving a car. Um, yes, uh, it's not as if there is any problem in SMO driving a car. But you and I know that SMO cannot afford to buy a car as things stand now. Only a year is a muego. Oji, she, she. Oji, ego. So the question is how or why SMO bought a car? Isn't it? Bam! That is what we are talking about. Only a year, ego. A great job. It is too early to make an assumption. If the car comes from where my man is telling me, you know that calamity awaits us here in Mbanda. Why are you talking like that? Which calamity? Nobody is going to face with any calamity. It's okay. It is like a pregnant woman. Let us wait and see how the pregnancy comes out. It's all right. Where are you going? I lost it. Okay, let's go. I just wanted to intimate you. You are my friend. It's really wonderful. What is all this? He is taking too long. Who knows what is holding them? Well, today I'll be set aside for the great ceremony. Let us exercise a little more patience. I know he will soon be here. Definitely, they won't be here. Ima, did you forget something? I forgot that they are performing their quality today. Well, not really dear Kwali. The Crown Prince will be lighting the fire of courage today at the village square. It was the Okada man I stopped that told me. You would have quickly gone to see him before... No. The Okada man said that the elders were already gathered at the square waiting for the prince. Okay, you'll probably see him tomorrow then. Hmm? 
so I have the choice. I'll see you inside. I have always believed in coming out victorious in everything I do and against all odds. You have that spirit. And I believe it's one of the things that have kept us together as friends all these years. Yeah. I'm not in the habit of doubting my God. But at times like this, it's obvious that one whose father has joined his ancestors has a lot to lose in the gathering of those whose fathers are still alive. And God, God has never ceased to be a father to the fatherless. See, as long as you watch what you eat and drink, you avoid certain gatherings, no harm will come to you. Oh, I've been most careful. The Crown Prince will light the fire of courage to commence the Akwali festival. Ezemu, I don't think that I am looking at the Crown Prince right now. Ogwejo Ofanu, I represent both the living and the dead. Our ancestors and generations past and even the present. It will be a grave sin. If you doubt my sense of judgment, do not allow the anger of the gods to rain upon you and your family. Ezemo, he who asks for direction, hardly misses his way. Shit your sword and act, tell us why it should be Prince Anthony that will light the fire. Prince Anthony, light the fire of courage. No, he will not light the fire until he explains to us. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Ah. Oh, the elders of Umbanta have now risen in arms against the wisdom of the gods. Ah. Ah. All right. And let him that is man enough stop him. I don't have his Akaburium. Hey! I simply tell the gods I didn't see what happened. Oh, shut up! Do you have eyes? that is rapidly submerging all the towns along the banks of the river Niger. Honestly, that's very serious. That reminds me. 
You even reminded me of the promise I made to the displaced persons in the camp. I promised them I was going to visit them to help them. Yes, yes, I would. I would see to it. That's good. I can't begin to imagine the difficulties those people are going through. None of them was prepared for the flood. Honestly. I heard that some woke up in the morning and saw their houses flooded. They couldn't take out a pin. They only had to save their lives first. My worry is that the flood, while carrying water into their houses, must have carried other sea reptiles into their houses. Them, them snakes, crocodiles, you know. Even hippopotamus. Brother, what are you doing here? Hello. This is Collins, and I am in our house. What is going on here? Mom, I, I saw some, some elders on my way out a few hours ago. And um, they are gathered in the village square, and I was informed they are about to perform their quality ceremony. Are you sure about this? I'm sure, Mom. Isn't the date for the festival supposed to be publicized? You know, Caesar. Before we got married, you promised me you were going to take care of Collins. You promised me you were going to protect him. I protected him. I protected him from the wolves out there who wanted to devour him. They wanted to devour him because of the throne of his father. The same throne you are taking away from him. No, uh, honestly, um, Carol, I, I don't know where you're coming from, and uh, I mean, what's all this? Caesar, stop pretending. You want to tell me that you are not aware that, even as we speak, that some elders are at the village square. They must have lit up the fire of the warriors. Collins is here. Who lit that fire? Well, one who abandons his own gathering must not cry that he has been sent out. Collins did not bargain for this. Listen, he was the person who left the meeting where everything about Aquali Festival was discussed. He didn't even bother to come back to ask anybody what was discussed at the meeting. Instead, he went all over the place uh, complaining to you, complaining to your brother how he's been dispossessed, how he's been maltreated and all that. You know, Caesar. I've tried so much not to believe that. You're doing everything in your power to make sure Anthony succeeds you. He is my son too, remember? But Caesar, for the sake of equity, give Collins what rightfully belongs to him and stop pitting my sons against each other. Now listen, woman, and listen good. Don't you ever talk to me in that manner again. Then do the right thing. I don't want to go there. That's a lie. You're going there. Listen, you are going there to see things for yourself. If there are people among those elders that are working against you, you need to look them in the face. 
You need to look them in the eyes and make them understand that you know the game they're playing. Where are you going? To the Aquali Festival. There is no need. They are here. By truth and justice, a kingdom stands. But by lies, it falls apart. Greed and jealousy, hatred and envy, only tears us apart, only breaks us down. your mouth listen Anthony don't try that your emotional blackmail on me I do not hate you I cannot hate my own child is this your obsession that is threatening to, to, to destroy this family mother I'm not destroying this family I am not I'm only doing Anyway, mother, why is it that no matter what I do, nothing ever impresses you? Why? Anthony, do you know what you have just done? What? You went to the village square to light up the courage of the warriors. Mother, I did it because Collins was nowhere to be found. And the elders were getting impatient. I did it for him. I did it for Collins and for this family. I was even thinking that somebody should at least appreciate what I have just done. Um, our elders, I salute all of you. Today is a happy day in Mbanda. And I said, I'm still saying it, that our lives will not be cut short by anybody or any spiritual force or anything at all. Mbanda will live, we will live long. Um, I have cola in my hand. Your Majesty, go ahead and bless the cola for us. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. To work again. To work again. To work again. That's all. Tell me where you're going to. I'll call you. Is that what I'll tell our mother? She don't need to tell her anything. I have to do this. My brothers. My elders. Today. 
you have shown indeed that you are the nucleus of this community. Today you have shown that you are the backbone, the bastion, the tripod on which this community stands. Oh, I'm very proud of you. I thank you very much. Um, my son has, with your support, he has successfully lit the ritual fire announcing the commencement of a quality festival. I thank you for all that. Now the community can be rest assured that all is well. Now the community can celebrate the festival happily, without let, joyously. Thank you. I say I thank you very well. You see? Your Majesty, Prince Collins is leaving Palace with Lord Richie. What did you say? Prince Collins is leaving the Palace with luggage. Leaving the Palace with his luggage? Yes, Your Highness. There is a thin line between love and hate. Honestly, I don't want to push my luck. You did well, my son. There is no way a cockroach cannot be found guilty in the gathering of chickens. They know you are here. You know, I told Mary I needed time to think about my life. But I didn't tell anybody I was coming to this place. If they could do all they did for now, sensing that you are solidly in their way could spell something terrible for you. You're right, Uncle. You're right. I've switched off my phone. Good. And we'll make sure that my car is always packed out of sight. I just want to stay here and watch how things play out. Rest assured that no one will harm you here. However, I will not sit and watch Caesar deny you of what rightfully is yours. Never. Thank you, Uncle. You are welcome. Where is your mother? Well, I don't know where she is. Mary, where is your mother? I don't know where she is. Then. Now, don't tell me that. Don't go telling me that. What's, what, what kind of disappearance are we having in this house? First, Collins disappeared. Followed your mother. She just disappeared into thin air. Now, don't tell me you, you two are planning to disappear from here too. Father, mother just stepped out. I'm sure she'll be back soon. And her phone is not going. It's been the terrible network. Network has been bad and everyone has been experiencing it for a while now. And Collins, why would that boy leave this house without informing me? Why? And that's what I've been trying to explain to my sister, but she wouldn't listen. Apparently, she must have taken the same kind of meal that Collins took that drove him out of the house. Anthony, I will let you insult me. And if I do? If I do, tell me, what will you do? Fight me? I'm sh I will not be surprised at all. Because that's the least of the things that you can do since you can support another person against your own blood brother. Something is wrong with you. How dare you talk to me? Hey, like shut up, both of you! Father, if you talk to me, I'll answer him. Let him not be talking to me. I said shut up! Justice, a kingdom stands, but by lies it falls apart. Greed and jealousy, hatred and envy, only tears us apart, only breaks us down. A kingdom divided against itself cannot stand.
Edmund, you think that little stunt you and my brother pulled will end you? I demand to know what you intend to achieve from it. I don't know what you're talking about. Where is Collins? He is your brother. And you're in a better position to know where he is. And he's your friend. And I'm sure you must have advised him to go into hiding so that the entire community will empathize with him. Like I said before, I don't know what you're talking about. I ask you again, where is Collins? Why don't you go to the police? Tell them you're looking for your brother or he's lost instead of wasting your time here. Edmund, you should be careful how you talk to me. You are very far from the palace. And so? Any reasonable man that finds himself in another man's house is always very careful with his choice of words. Are you threatening me? Have a most pleasant day, Your Highness. As a mom, it was still like yesterday when Collins was a baby. I remember you were one of those I ran to when it was obvious that my son was in danger of being killed by people who wanted the, the throne. I still remember your majesty. It's not easy losing the love of my life at a very tender age and very young in my marriage. So I had to marry his younger brother to protect my son. Praise to the gods in heaven and to our gods for protecting and keeping him alive. So I married Caesar and he became the regent of Mbanta. Collins has never been eager to take the crown from him because he sees him as a father. He once told me that his son will never rule over his father as a king. Words of a wise son. Collins and Anthony are my sons. Anthony wants the throne of his father as the first son. But as the more you and I know that Caesar is not the king, he's only the regent of Mbanta. Your Majesty, I know exactly what you are saying, but. Um... If there is any internal squabble in the family, I am not aware of it. <sighs> Collins left the palace earlier today. I don't know his whereabouts. What scares me most is what he might be thinking of doing. Is he planning to do anything to anybody? I wouldn't know. But there's a more. I have come to plead with you. To talk to Caesar. Make him understand the futility of trying to hand over the throne to Anthony. I will. I will speak with him. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to hear not connecting. Keep dialing those numbers. I need to know what is wrong with both of them. I need particularly to know what your mother was thinking now, when... What could your mother be thinking, Caesar? I want to know what you were thinking when you advised Collins to run away from this house. What were you thinking? 
What matters is what I think now. Carol, I have no time for frivolities now. Where is Collins? Caesar, you promised me before we got married that you were going to make sure that Collins becomes king. So what is going on now? Is Collins the only son you have? Because I don't think I'm good enough to be her. And baby. one more word from you. Oh, and you do what, mother? Slap me like you always do. Go ahead and do it. Slap me some more. After all, I, I, I don't even think I'm good enough to be Stop it! Stop it! I love you! Stop! Okay. My name is Immaculate and I'm wondering if the prince is around. Good day. Uh, the prince, which of the prince, if I may ask? Prince Collins. Young lady, who are you looking for? Good morning, your highness. Yes. My name is Immaculate, sir, and I'm looking for Prince Collins. I know. I am Prince Anthony. You know what? I heard my brother has a new girlfriend. Though I have not met you before. But you look exactly the way I expected. How am I? Beautiful. Because there is no other word to describe exactly the way you look now. Thank you, Your Highness. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I actually came to see Prince Collins. It's, is he around? Um, I'm sorry to break this news to you. Oh, come on. It's, it's not that serious. Anyway, see, I knew you were expecting to meet Collins at home. And I know you had slated out the time you're going to be with him and the phone and all that. So that I don't want to spoil. But unfortunately, he's out of the house now. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> and Prince Collins never told me you're this lively and friendly. Oh, my brother. You don't have to blame him, you know, he has a lot on his hands. And you don't expect him to remember everything. True. Well, I'm honored to meet you and I'll be on my way now. I'll oh, not too fast, darling. I was actually on my way out um, before you got here. So why don't you be my guest and I'll drop you home. No, Your Highness, I... If that's a humble order from a humble prince. Please get into the car. Justice, a kingdom stands, but by lies it falls apart. Greed and jealousy, hatred and envy, only tears us apart, only breaks us down. A kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. Nothing, Your Highness. I saw Auntie Immaculate. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Oh, and nobody even remembered to ask her if she was heard from Collins. Where is she now? Um, she has gone out with Prince and Sonny. I saw them driving off now. What? Okay. Um, uh, okay. Um, thank you, Rila. Is there anything else? No, Your Highness. I just wanted to tell you so you could find out if she knows anything about Prince Collins' whereabouts. Um. All right. <laughs> you may leave now. Thank you. Why would Immaculate come to the house, drive out with Anthony without even entering inside the house? Well, I don't know. You don't know. So why not you call and find out what's behind the reason? Well, unfortunately, I don't have a number. So, since the problem, what is it? Down. A king 
So, which of these ones are your house? Uh, I don't think it's necessary for Excuse you to me. know, but thank you for bringing me back. Well, that's where you get it wrong. Because I can't bring you all the way from Banta and drop you just along the road. Come on, I have a conscience. I insist. I must take you home. I understand your concern, but my father will be very mad at me if I bring you to the house. He has never allowed any man to come around. Yeah, allow me to ask, so where are your suitors supposed to come when they're ready? Prince Anthony, you're not coming to marry. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to tell your father. What? You're joking. Don't joke with things like that. I don't want anybody to start asking questions about you or, you know, to start counting the number of suitors that have come to the house and never married me. Well, if that scares you, okay? I'm going to tell him something else. But know that I'm not going to drop you along the road. I must take you home. And you will tell my father you came to marry me? Well, if that makes you scared, I'll tell him something else. Do you say things because you mean it or you just like to talk? Let's just get to your house first. Edmond, if there's anyone who should know about Collins's whereabouts, it's you. I beg you in the name of God, if you know anything, please tell us. Not just for me, but for my mother and the entire household. Princess, I don't know. I don't know how else to convince you that. I don't know where he is. I really don't know. He didn't even tell me when he was leaving. My mom is so worried and it's weighing her down. I hate to see her in that mood. I just... If I knew where he was, I would have told you. I believe you, if you say so. Yes. So we got the report that your meter is fault. That's true. And we've gone to put it in order. Oh, fine. Yeah. And sir, for convenience sake, yeah. you should photocopy your bills and place them close to the meter so okay. we can always reach them when we come. Oh, fine. Thank you. Yeah. Uncle? <laughs> Chief Vincent, there's no, 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 there's no problem, my son. They came to check the bill okay. and repair the meter. Please, hold on, let me go and bring it. Very well, sir. Um, what is why don't we go and check on the meter to see what is wrong with it? Why Vivian wait for the man to bring the bill? Okay. Okay. All right, I'll make sure. Okay. Um so beautiful girls like you walk with the power of authority. You've seen for yourself. This will be good. Chief Easy. Sir? Please collect it from her when she's done. Let me go and complete what I'm doing.
well. So, finally you got to my house, but unfortunately for you and fortunately for me, there was nobody at home. Thank you so much for bringing me back home and for the money. It's a whole lot of money. Thank you so much. It's nice and calm. I understand. I was almost losing it. Yeah. But anyway, now that I know your house, I'll come visit in some other time. <laughs> some other time? Sure. Here? You want my father to disown me? He won't do such a thing, trust me. Okay, then I'll see you. Abomination for me, Ogwejofo, to enter a barn where Koko yams are ties instead of yam. Now, I cannot. Mm -mm. You are right, Ogwejofo. A dad like us cannot sit at home and allow the goats to give birth in theaters. What baffles me is this. Is there more involved in this? We all are aware how Caesar arrogated himself the title of a king instead of a regent. The boy he was supposed to hold the title for is now a man, so he should take over his father's throne. Considering the fact that Ezemo is involved in all their planning, what do you think will happen to us if we decide to fight it openly? Ah, my fellow man die but once. If Ezemo decides to experiment his power on me because of the truth, let him go ahead and kill me, and I will be ready to die another dead. I will. I know how fast we want to put Collins on the throne. But we have to put something into consideration. Just like what, Honora? We have to be very, very careful. Lest we cut our nose to spite our face. Honora, what are you saying? If Collins becomes the king, how is he going to lord over a man who he calls father? Sisters, son and daughter are calling step brother and sister. If Collins becomes king, how do we reconcile his position against Caesar? Um, if we can get Her Majesty divorce Caesar, we would have taken care of every implication. I think that is what we're going to do. I think you have a point. How would I achieve that? Give you transport to Umbanta this morning. Don't you think I should be surprised if I see you with this amount of money? Well, if you must know, I met Prince 
I met Prince. Prince Collins gave you all this money. <laughs> that's that's nice. Well, he told me he's loving and caring, and as I can see, he's also generous to you. And <laughs> this is very nice, too. So. What do you think? He even brought me home. <sighs> but, um, Ima, mm -hmm. did you just say he brought you home? Mm -hmm. I, I tried to dissuade him, but he insisted. <laughs> and he said that he, he was ready to face whatever music our father will play for him. And what, what did Papa say? Ha! Fortunately for us, there was somebody at home. <laughs> Ima, that was some huge risk both of you took. What would you have told Papa? Ima, he said he was going to tell Papa that he wants to marry me. <laughs> Are you serious? He wants to marry you? That means he proposed? What is going on here? Her Majesty called us. He has not said anything to us yet. You may leave. More than what is wrong? Why are you doing this to yourself? I didn't know when I broke down. Mother, what is wrong with you? Mary's mother all right? <sighs> if anything should happen to Collins, I'll hold you and your father responsible. Why is mother talking like this, Mary? It's not for you to worry about. Just one day. One day. You all will understand. There is something I detest. I don't like it when people compound an already complicated situation. Why did you visit as a mom and level allegations against him? Why? Caesar, you have finally convinced me as to where you stand on this issue. I want you to remember that the two boys in question are both my sons. They are also my sons! No. Tony is your son. As for Collins, you have made him believe that he is just your, your brother's son. Well, you can at least make things less difficult for Tony. Thank you for reminding me. Did you see my son? Did you see my son? Yes or no? We are not able to find him, but get out! You have come to receive accolades for not finding my son, right? Get out of my presence! Get out! Idiot! Fool! Huh? What? How could Collins do such a thing to me? You won't blame the young man for taking such action. It's all about life preservation, and one in danger has no other place to run to than his maternal home. I 
How is he doing? Oh, he's doing quite fine. He said I should let you know so that your mind will be at rest. Brother, please, tell him to come back home. Oh, he will come back when the palace is favorable. Yeah. <sighs> your Majesty, Mazibi, the king wants to see you in the throne room. Oh, tell him I'll be there right now. Sister, let me go and see. I must have to use everything within my power to secure what belongs to me. Collins is really a threat. I must have to break him, both physically and psychologically so he wouldn't have the moral will to fight me. Yes. My Prince, His Majesty the King wants to see you in the throne room. My in-law, Ibe, please sit down. Thank you. I had uh, expected that you would come into the throne room since I heard that you came into my house. I didn't see you and uh, well I reasoned that uh, you were with your sister and you were comfortable there. <laughs> your Majesty, you know that isn't the case. In fact, I would have come to see you but I was told that you were busy with someone. So I decided to wait until you finish before coming. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, I, I am sure uh, my wife would have told you about Collins. Your Majesty, she told me that Collins ran away from home. And no one has set eyes on him ever since then. Yes. Yes. I wonder why Collins would leave this palace without telling anyone, not even me, his own father. It's indeed painful, very painful. Yes. Hmm. Well, you're welcome. However, if you should ever hear or learn about his whereabouts, please do not hesitate to let me know promptly. Hmm. Your Majesty, you can count on me. So, how's the family? Well, they are still in Abba. I see. Um. I'm done with here. I uh, don't have anything to do again. So why don't I take my in-law inside and give him a befitting welcome. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. That would be nice. Thank you, Your Majesty. One thing that has kept me in shock over this issue is that fact that Igwe is making determined efforts to see that this case doesn't end up with the place. He knows that no evil has befallen Prince Collins, even at that. I I'm sure Igwe is worried because since Prince Collins disappeared from home, nobody knows what he's planning, and that is making Igwe very uncomfortable. To for Nora, I still insist that Igwe should have gone to the place. Police? Yes. What is he going to tell the police? Oh, you are asking. That his son disappeared from home. And to think that the police wouldn't want to know why the young man disappeared. Though I believe that Igwe knows what he's doing. But my prayer is that he doesn't bring calamity upon us. So that's my prayer. I pray so. And why did you? It's late already. Let me start going, eh? Well, of course. What's the time now? You're right.
Alô? Os... Pois Collins. Where have you been? You, you just disappeared on everybody. Your family has been hounding me for your whereabouts. Of course, they should be worried. Your disappearance has left a lot of things hanging, even on our business side. Where? I'll be there. I'll be there as soon as possible. I said I'll be there as soon as I can. Coming to <laughs> Wow. Enjoy your drink. After you practically forced me here for a drink. Would there have been an excuse for me to bring you out to enjoy yourself? Prince Anthony. Do you realize that I am your brother's girlfriend? Which is the more reason why I should take care of you, right? Um, has anybody heard from Collins? Um, unfortunately, no. Um, but we're doing everything we can to find out where he is. Do you think something may have happened to him? No way. <laughs> Collins left the house on his own. I needed to know. And I, I just think that Collins is upset over something that I do not know right now. I've not been able to lay my hands on it. But And like I said, we're doing our best to find him. And as soon as we find him, you, you shall know about it. Thank you. What for? Collins is my brother. And I should not get thank you for what I do for my brother. Okay? Uh, well, I don't know how he's been taking care of you, but I do want you to know that from now henceforth, whatever you need and whatever you need it, just call me. Okay? Are you serious? Can't be joking with a matter as serious as this. Moreover, you can also stop by the palace anytime you want to. Ooh. That's nice. Thanks. Let's straight to that. <laughs> I'm thinking. Collins, it's not around in the palace. And if I come to the palace to see you, Mary and your mother may misunderstand it. You're very correct. But in any case, let's just enjoy our moment together and uh, leave the rest to me. I'll work it out. What business have you got with the police? We have all been looking for Collins and no one has gone to the police to report that my brother is missing. Is that why you want to drag yourself to the police? <sighs> well, my dear daughter, your brother is not missing, he's fine. Mom, you can't be too sure. Or are you trying to stop me? <laughs> Collins is fine. He's not missing. Uh, you remember he left on his own. And recently I discovered that he's staying with my brother. He's fine. Even though he doesn't want anybody to know. Really? Oh my God, I'll kill Collins! Why didn't it? So, 
So if I did not remind you, you would have allowed this business go down the drain. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have a lot of things on my mind now. Hey. Forget the lot you have on your mind. Let's get going before we lose these people. Truth and justice, a kingdom stands, but by lies it falls apart. I showed you. Hey, is this what I think it is? I left that palace because I saw the way things were going and I didn't want to lose my life. You know, after that dream, I was afraid for your life. But leaving the palace without a solid plan is it's not the best of moves. Besides, it's not fair that you didn't tell your mother before leaving. So I should have stayed back and probably got killed before I have a plan. Oh, come on, we're on the same page here. Chibeza, how are you? I came to see your uncle. Um, no, ma, he's not yet back. All right. When he comes back, tell him I checked on him. Okay, I will, ma. Um, thank you, ma. Chibeza. Who is Chibeza? <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> God, this guy. That's my evil name now. <laughs> and that's what everybody calls me around here. Uh, do you have any problem with it? No. I don't have any problem with your name. <laughs> I don't. Uh, it means God is king. <laughs> <sighs> but what are you going to do about him? I don't want to think about it. Did you, did you try to reach her, you know, um, before leaving the palace? Or even after you had left? I did not. Like I told you, I don't want to think about it. No, I can't thank you enough for all the gifts you brought for me today. I really appreciate it. What's that? I mean, what are you thanking me for? For just little things? Okay, let me ask you. What would you then do when I start doing greater things for you? <laughs> Prince Anthony. Yes, Daria. I don't know what you're trying to do. I mean, if you start spoiling me with goodies like this, mm. what will I do when Prince Collins comes back? Does it matter? The most important thing is that you're happy. Case closed. How do you mean? What I mean is, it doesn't really matter whether my brother is there or not. What matters to me is that you're happy. Therefore, whatever you ask for, however will you ask for it, I would provide for you. Provided it makes you happy, then I'm good. Mother, 
I'm really saying this from the bottom of my heart. In every way that I've made you feel bad. Please forgive me. Where is your brother? Mother. Colleen's absence in this house has really given me food for thought. And I must say that I regret every of my actions and I'm ashamed of it. Anthony, you are my son. And no one can love you more than I do. Nothing will give me greater joy than to see Collins back to this house and both of you getting along well like brothers should. Mother, I promise you that joy will not elude you. I promise to turn a new leaf. Responsible life. Thank you. Thank you so much, my son. And in order to assure you that I'm ready to turn a new leaf, I'm also going to get married. Uh, that's, that's great news. But I, I wish things were a little bit different. Mother, I understand how you feel. But I just wanted you to be the first to know before any other. It's not like I'm going to get married immediately. Then at the right time, I will get married. Hey. Hey, hey, this is getting really serious. What is going on? Ah. You have seen what is going on now. Otto, you are you a learner? Hey. hey. <laughs> wow. You know, I am just wondering what you have done to him that is making him shower you with so much gifts and money. This is too much now. Well, let us just say that he has begun to appreciate me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eva, Eva, you're a very lucky girl. Yeah. 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 Many times will I tell you that I am not a lucky girl. I'm blessed though. Miko, Miko. Oh God, I'm blessed. <laughs> You're blessed, my sister. I've heard you. <laughs> oh, anyway, tell me about your hard job, Dodo. Hey. Hard job? <laughs> I will not blame you. Because Prince Collins now gives you my monthly salary as your transport fare, Abby. That's why you're talking this way. Listen to me. Every money I Every single penny mm -hmm. is earned. Mm -hmm. So if I were you, but I'm not you, but if I were you, I would advise you to go and look for a job. Because all this for some for some. Hey, 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 just hold it there. Hold it. <laughs> I'm too beautiful to walk now. <laughs> I was not born to suffer. I'm too beautiful for that. <laughs> Are you blind? Eva. <laughs> don't worry, I'll share it with you. You learn how to press computer. Ah, I beg you, I go to that. <laughs> What? 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 Did you know what she what? Said? Ami, but what? Uh -huh. Tell them. Me, Ami, but uh -huh. that's all you are. Hey. Anything less than an Ami, but. Me, Ted. 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 I can swear that the Beijing conference that is holding between you guys has every plans to snatch another person's boyfriend and husband. Uh, uh, John, I 
you sick in the head? I mean, how could you just bust into us and insult us like that? Stop this nonsense you're doing, no. No, wait, nobody's your mate here. Wait, 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 wait. Can you imagine you, John? Ha! Starting when? Order. Eh? Give you that order. Give you that right. So you think we both are in the same level, right? That give you the guts to walk up to us and insult us. John, hang will touch you. If they hear me so, hang will touch you. Answer. Talk. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I've just told you the truth. In fact, we are not on the same level because you are capable of taking over the king and become the queen tomorrow. Thank you. Wait, John. Hey, hey, we were busy having our discussion and never invited you to it. John, what is your problem now? Amigo. Has any of us there snatched away your sister's husband? Uh -huh. Or have you heard that any of us there is not dating your father? Are you mental? Is any of the things you've mentioned past what you can do? If Immaculate could easily switch over to Prince Anthony just like that, playing two brothers just like that, then you girls are capable of doing the same things. <laughs> John, no, no vex. Which immaculate are you talking about? Wait, 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 girls, let's wait, wait, wait. I think it's, it should be this girl. Which? Prince Colin started dating a while ago. Hey! One dance shall never cease to happen in this palace. There is nothing her eyes will see in this palace. Immaculate. Good. Beautiful, good, good thinking. You know, son, getting married is going to give you the advantage of appearing responsible. And that's a plus for you. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father, have you heard anything about Colin's whereabouts? Now, as I speak to you, I've heard nothing regarding his whereabouts. But I have a feeling your mother knows and she's not talking. She appears too, too relaxed for a mother who is supposed to be looking for her son. You know, father, you see, this is one place that I, I really don't know whether to agree with you in your line of thoughts or whether I should think the other way around. Because take for example, a, a few days back, I was talking to mother about the, my plans of getting married. And you know, for a young man who's talking to the mother in that direction for the very first time, I expected some level of excitement and happiness. But rather, what did I get? Collins this, Collins that, she just kept herself busy talking about Collins as if I don't exist. Don't worry, son. I said don't worry. Yes, see with time all those things are going to be sorted out. Yes. So, when am I meeting her? Come on, come on, come on. Don't start pretending now. Oh! I'm sorry for that. The, the girl I want to marry. No, the girl I want to marry! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, father. You, you beat me there. Let me cut the chase. Um, very soon. Pretty very soon. Good. <laughs> come on, yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Um, now, please, uh, hasten up the order.
three snacks and um, three bottles of coke. Take care of that, please. Okay, I'll take care of whatever she takes. Okay? Thank you. All right. Okay. Hold this. All right. Keep the chain, okay? Yeah. Do you remember me? Your face looks familiar, though I get to meet a lot of people in my line of work, so... And I... You came to my uncle's house with your colleagues to check his bills and uh, repair his meter. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> my name is... Chibweze. Now I remember. It's, it's nice meeting you again. My pleasure. So how did you know my name? Uh, I think I heard your uncle mention your name while I was going through the bill. And you still remember? Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. You live around here? No. I came with my colleagues to fix a transformer nearby. You go close to transformers. You're not scared. It's my job. I studied electrical engineering in school. Great. And I did mechanical engineering. No, no, no. How do you explain this? You know, two engineers. <laughs> you know, this world is a funny place. Um, can I call you sometimes? Oh. Um. Well, you don't have my number and I don't think I want to give it to you. Sorry about that. Well, very well then. Can you have mine, please? Uh, who owns this? I guess. I don't know. Since the ring is in your hand, I believe my happiness is in your hands too. I don't understand. I'm a man that goes for what he wants without wasting time. I know I've not known you for a very long time. I have to believe that you make me a happy man. Prince Anthony, I don't know what to say. I mean, I have been drawn closer to you more than I envisaged. But I am still your brother's girlfriend. Hey, Margaret. Yes. Will you marry me? Rita, I know your new boyfriend is gorgeous. But honestly, I don't think you should be clinging to him the way you're doing right now. My dear, I have to cling on him for one of those stupid girls out there taking him away from me. Exactly what I'm talking about. Now you're regaling yourself about how gorgeous and how he loves you and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And someone will take him away from me. <laughs> you know, that is not possible now. I'm not going to sit here and watch anybody take him away from me. I'll kiss somebody now. You know me. <laughs> you, you want to kill someone? My dear. You better get ready to kill because as we speak, Nelson is about to get married. Hold it. 
What are you talking about? Is this a joke or a prayerful? Nothing like any of those two. Wait. Who is he getting married to? I mean, what's happening? Princess, it's not like I've been avoiding you. It's just the pressure of work and, and you... And that you have refused to accept that I am real and you are not. Oh, come on. You know it's not true. You know that? Most entirely a lie. For how long? For how long am I going to keep apologizing over the same issue? I'm sorry. Well, if you miss participating actively in my wedding, then I will confirm that you don't love me and you are officially not my friend. You're getting married. Mm. Who? Uh, how? When? Where? Who's the lucky guy? Well, he's this nice guy. Mm -hmm. So sweet. <laughs> Loving and fun to be with God. He's just so nice. I have a picture on my phone. I'll show I you. I'm so happy for you. Mom. A few days ago, we had a misunderstanding. And Oh, I know you caused that one. I know you now. Is it not you? No, I did not. Although he tried, he, he tried to apologize, but I, I guess I was so upset. I, I didn't even want to listen to him. Don't worry, everything will be fine. It will pass. But just tell me, how did you get me? How? When? Because he loves me. Oh, you, you think on. I'm royalty and I should have friends? I'm happy for you. Don't be happy for me. Sorry now, babes. She's getting married to Nelson. The same guy you showed me his pictures. No, this is not happening. Nelson. You remember the day you told me you met him in a bar? And you went to meet him to ask him what the problem was? And you even told him if you were no longer his wifey anymore? Yes, I remember. Good. He told Princess what you told him. And also told her that people actually misunderstand gestures. He left you, went back to her to apologize and... What do we have today? They are getting married. Are you serious? I'm serious. He told Princess about that. Hold on. Nelson told her I called him. Precious, are you saying that? Rita, give it all up. Are you dating Nelson? Tell me the truth. Well, not truly, really, but I thought we could work out something. <laughs> you want... Are you... <sighs> so how well are you working things out now? See what has landed you in. Your Majesty, you know these kids have a way of bringing people closer. And we can only support them to get married. The only promise I'm giving you is that your daughter will be happier in my family than you ever imagined. That's all right. That's all right. Your words are like music to my ears. Um, it's your great offer. Your Majesty. You've heard them. Hmm? In Rivago. Your Majesty, I know my ears are not bigger than yours. I have them very well. I think uh, we have to give them all the requirements. And then um, every other thing will be done as it has been. <laughs> That's great. You've spoken like the true son of your father. <laughs> uh, we are equal to the task, Your Majesty. And we will make sure Mbanta eats and drinks to their satisfaction. Good. And we didn't know that. That's right. 
That's what we want. What else? Chulota, you still haven't answered my question. What do you want me to say? Even though I say yes, it's not even make any difference. You know, you have already said yes. Okay. What would you have said if I hadn't accepted already? Okay. He's rich, caring, mm -hmm. even a prince. What else do you want me to say? I know. <laughs> if I thought you'd even say yes, hey, should I kill you by now? You know it. <laughs> I'm blessed like that. Ah, <laughs> oh, How are you? Fine, sir. Oh, oh, oh. They are all fine, sir. <laughs> Keep enjoying yourself, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Chilota, has it been long he came? Mm, no. You're welcome. Eh, <laughs> uh, madam, is it that I brought you back? Ah. I met him on my way back. Mm. And Chilota, I hope my stingy sister has given you something to eat. Ah! <laughs> Hey, Eva, this is such a beautiful ring. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you, Eva. Thank you. So, me, <laughs> Vivian, a chemistry of Mbaoku village. Mm. Mm. I am going to be the chief bridesmaid <laughs> to the future queen of Mbanta. Yes, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is huge. <laughs> oh my God, give me a hug. Mm. <laughs> my sister, this is the work of God. Mm. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> you know, have you told um, Mama and Papa? Have you told her? Yes, I have told Mama. She will answer Papa. That's the way they treat, I think. Hey, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Mm. So when did she tell you? She just finished telling me my husband. Hmm. You see, when parents insist on absolute discipline, it always seems as if they hate their children. But it is for their own good. Just imagine a mother. If she wasn't raised up well, would she be dreaming of getting uh, married to the Prince of Mbanta? Oh, I am so happy, my husband. I am glad for Immaculate, and I thank God for that. Hey! <clears throat> well, I'm here, and I'll be waiting. I will still ask Immaculate questions myself and then know if words will be sent across to the prince to inform us when they will come. Please go and call her for me. Oh, here comes. Ima! Ima! I'm sorry I didn't tell you before leaving the palace, but I needed to get out of the palace in order to have some time to think about my life. It's alright, son. It's not alright, son. Mom, it's not alright. The moment your husband began. Your father, Collins. My stepfather. That's what he has shown me. And that's the way I see him now. So, when are you coming back to the palace? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure, no. I'm not sure. Collins. I know your father wants Anthony to succeed him. But that throne is your birthright. And nobody can take it away from you. So you want me to come back to the palace so that they will kill me. And then Anthony will succeed him. My son, it is not hidden that you are the next king of Umbanta. And I know the elders would want to back you up, but they need to see your strength. And if you ask me, running away from the palace is a sign of cowardice. 
you sincerely think that I should come back to that palace? Not just coming back, but building an alliance with some of the influential kingmakers. Collins, you need to make them understand that you are as fearless as your father. Thank you, Mom. One more thing. You have to think towards getting married. By truth and justice, a kingdom stands, but by lies it falls apart. I greet you. Now, may the God shower blessings upon you and your family. Is this your car? It's your honor. Every time I poured libation, I've always asked the God that the leg with which a man used in coming to my house is the same leg he would use in going. <laughs> but if along the road he sees a car, he should enter now because nobody rejoices in poverty. Yes. You are right, Ezemo. You are absolutely right. <laughs> the gods have blessed me with a car. Who am I? Who am I? It's your honor. Who am I to reject it? Ezemo, mm -hmm. the secret of all can never be revealed to daylight. Mm -hmm. Let us go in. <laughs> it's Honora, wait. Wait. Honora, son of Udoke, mm -hmm. the warrior. How can the same owl turn around to say that he's scared of his owlets? As if it were the vulture who gave back to the owlets. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> You are welcome once again. Again, I say thank you. My second visit. A great job. Your wife is such a good cook. I hope the girl that brought us here cooks as good as. Your wife. <laughs> oh, great, your for. <clears throat> it is the same skin an antelope and its calf have. Once again, thank you for this wonderful reception. As soon as I get home, I will inform the Igwe, I mean Igwe of Mbanta, of your generosity. Um, I have not done anything more than the ordinary. Hmm? I'm only entertaining my visitors and my future in laws as well. <laughs> <That's not> correct. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. My prince. Yes. He is right. Yes, very correct. <laughs> my dear, it's going to be as we have discussed. It's all right. Immediately I get home, I'm going to discuss with His Royal Majesty. And then we get back to you. The interest of Mbanta <clears throat> supersedes every other interest. In fact, it is a driving factor for all that I have done for this community. 
Ezemo. Nobody can question your loyalty to Mbanda and your dedication to the job of being a spiritual head. I'm glad you appreciate all that I have done for this community and the way I do it. Anyway, that is by the way. Hmm? Uh, people say that um, if what is in the mouth does not finish, the jaw does not rest. <laughs> Words of wisdom. You are not ignorant of um, what is happening in the palace. I mean, how Prince Collins suddenly packed his things and left. And the king has tried all that he could to bring him back at no avail. I know about it. Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you know why a man arranges his household while he's still alive? I'm sure you don't. It is because of death. Death does not give notice when it will come. And that is why His Majesty does not want to take chances about who succeeds him when he joins his ancestors. It is for this reason that he wants us to come together and make Prince Anthony Crown Prince of Mbanta. How can you say a thing like that? When you know fully well that Tone of Mbanta belongs to Prince Collins. Jomora. Ijie Onora. The only thing that defies solution in this life is death. But even when death strikes, the ground is still available to accept his victim. Mm. I don't want to be part of whatever plan you have to make Prince Anthony the Grand Prince of Umbanta. Never. Mm -mm. Hmm? Vivian, how long does it take you to realize that you have fallen in love with a particular flower and would love to pluck it and smell its fragrance? Most times it doesn't take more than a spur of a moment for someone to know that she loves a particular flower. So if I tell you the particular flower I've fallen in love with, would you make me happy by getting it for me? Yes, just show me the flower and I'll get it for you. Look around. It's the most beautiful flower around here. the flowers here beautiful just show me the particular one and I'll get it I'm looking at her right now huh? who is she? her name is Vivian the Ken she's so beautiful and if she would accept to marry me I will love more than anything in the world to make her my wife. She wears it. Vivian, will you marry me? Truth and justice, a kingdom stands. I, I 
couldn't say anything, Mama. I didn't know whether to believe him or not. In fact, I didn't tell him anything. It's good you have not told him anything yet. Hmm? This Chibweze, he's, he's rich, right? He's okay. He's okay. Is it okay that he will eat? Listen, you need an extremely wealthy man. Someone who will take care of you. Emma. Do you want to survive the whole of your life? Hey. Emma Glet. Ha ha. Emma, I don't need a rich man. What I need is someone who will take care of me and I will live in peace with him. Chibweze is a nice man and I see him as a good man. Please. Okay, oh. Since he is nice and he's a good man, you can go ahead and marry him. As for me, immaculate, wealthy man I have already. So you can go ahead with your Benyalo. Immaculate. Ma? Yes, ma. Let him not break your heart, though, because heartbreak on top of a suicide mission. It's a very bad man. And if you marry a rich man and he doesn't take good care of you, what will happen? My darling, he has infected you with poverty. I see it already. You're on your way to being finished. Mommy, 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 please, please talk to him. I don't like the way she's talking. This is what happens to poverty infected brain. Just advice, okay? For some reason, she knows how to talk. She's my sister. I love her, that's why. Your Majesty, some of your council members are not disposed to the idea of making Prince Anthony the Crown Prince of Mbanta. Is a more. You have the power to confuse and intimidate them. Do it. Huh? After all, you did it at the village square. When Anthony lit the ritual, uh, fire for the commencement of Aquali Festival. You can do it again and again. Your Majesty, I know, I know, I know. But we must tread with caution. There is a way you push a goat to the wall. It will have no option than to buy it. Your Majesty, let us not cut public outrage. Is there... Which of the council members can we bring in? Your Majesty, I... I used to think that you and them... Um, Ichi Oguijo for understand each other very well. Ichi Oguijo for yes, he's my friend, but Oguijo for's allegiance is to the throne itself, not to me as a person. I knew it. I knew it. Such men are difficult to deal with. <laughs> Your Majesty, I am not a Zemuo for nothing. That's right. Make him an offer that is fantastic. An offer that is big. An offer that has never been heard except in government circles. I will foot the bill. Do everything you can to bring him to support us. Your Majesty, you can trust me on that. I will be on my way.
instead of one who has been comfortable to suddenly cease being comfortable. Let the one that has not tested comfort be deprived of it. Yes. How would my son and his generation come to see me if I fail to hand over this throne to him? It will not be fair to him at all. I will do whatever it takes to hand Anthony this throne. Um, listen. You see, it is our super responsibility to do whatever it takes to make sure that the throne of this great land in Banta goes to the rightful owner. And in the circumstances, when the rightful owner is not around, what do we do? <laughs> Let me tell you, the stream is not supposed to be dirty from its source. I stand to be corrected. But Prince Collins has not told us that he is no longer interested in sitting on his father's throne. So, where is Prince Collins right now? I am neither his father nor his driver. I'm not supposed to know his whereabouts. Ogwe <laughs> Jofano. It is because he realized that the responsibility of being a king is something he cannot contend with. That he chickened away. He ran away. Now, let me ask you. A great your farmer, if you would remember, who lit the fires to commence the Aquali festival? Prince Anthony did. And he did. Ah, it is because it takes rare courage and bravery for anyone to light the fires of the Aquali festival, the fires of our past warriors. Ezemo, I question you why Prince Anthony would light that fire. I guess you have forgotten the answer you gave to me that day. But I saw Prince Collins when we got back to the palace. Ezemo, Nobody should take me as a fool. I am not a fool. <laughs> no one will take a man of your status as a fool. No one will dare. Let me remind you, no good deed goes unrewarded. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I'll your fan. Every man under the sky has a price and this is without any exceptions so tell me what is your price truth and justice
Prince, are you sure about this? Listen, when I say it's okay, then it's okay. Okay? Shall we? I'd like to go and see Collins too. That's nice. At least you will lend a voice to convincing him to come back home and take what rightfully belongs to him. I will. And I need to also inform him of the dates Nelson and I fixed for our wedding. That's good. Uh -huh. Prince Anthony just arrived with Auntie Immaculate. And she asked me to come and get. Wait, which Immaculate? The Immaculate that comes to visit Prince Collins. Which Immaculate? The same Immaculate Collins brought to the house to show us that the girl he wants to be married to. My daughter. You're welcome to my palace. Thank you. Hmm? Nice. Come on, get up. Yes! A great your four is indeed a man of truth. Look at her! He told me exactly what he saw. Yes. Welcome once again. Thank you, Your Majesty. I appreciate all your... Mother, this is the girl that I want to marry. I was going to bring her to see you once we're through with father. Thank you, Your Majesty. You've done so well, Anthony. Thank you, Mother. Anthony. You have done so well to take over your brother's girlfriend. Mother, what, what, what is that supposed to mean? What is going on here? Your Majesty, it is this girl your son brought here. Ask her if this is her first visit to this palace. Young girl, what is going on here? Immaculate. Huh? Is Collins aware of this your visit? No, I, I, I don't know where Collins is. Young girl, I asked you a question. What is going on here? Your Majesty, Prince Collins and I have been friends for some time. But he has never asked me to marry him. Father, Father, you see? You see now? So, so why are we making a mountain out of a molehill? You see? Anthony. Yes, you will not marry this girl. What? Unless I am not your mother. Father, what's the meaning of all this, Father? Why is it that nothing I do ever means well for mother? Eh? So I should disappear into the thing eh, because I have a brother. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> mm. 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 I've thought about what you asked of me the other time. Yes. And you know we've not known each other very well and Wait, wait, just before you say no, I want you to know that I can still give you more time to think about it. Do 
you present, you're a very nice person and... Oh, Vivian, thanks for the compliments. I am not in a haste. I can give you more time to think about it. Don't just say no yet. Mm -hmm. I I told you at the garden that it doesn't take more than a spur of a moment for someone to love a particular flower. Yeah, you did. And you also say that if I would show you the most beautiful flower. You were gonna get it for me. You actually promised. Hmm? What did you tell me about that flower? Hmm. Hmm. She's very beautiful. Hmm. Her name is Vivian. It came in here. And if she would accept me, I would love more than anything in the world to make her my wife. As in my wife. <laughs> What is the problem? Why are you crying? The, the, the queen doesn't like me. Why? Did you do anything to them? <laughs> she said, she said that I have from a poor background and that we don't have blue blood. <laughs> Is that all? Yes, that is all. <laughs> My daughter is okay. If that is the only problem, allow them to be in their mighty house and strut around with their blue blood. Inugo, at least we are still alive with our red blood. Oh? <laughs> Brother, what you are doing is not fair. I can make this palace hell for her. You can make this palace hell for her? What is wrong with you? I mean, what is wrong with everybody in this palace? Okay, because my brother met her before me, therefore I cannot marry her. Or did Collins ever tell you people that he has proposed to her? And did she tell you she's having problems with Collins? Oh, now I know this is your plans with Collins. But let me advise you. Why don't you just go tell your brother to come out from where he's hiding like a scared puppy and face things himself? We are not talking about Collins here. So who then? We're talking about that foolish, stupid girlfriend of his you want to snatch from him. May I remind you too that I can as well go call all the girls I've dated Nelson in the past and they will come here and give you reason why you will not marry Nelson. Do not insult me. Listen to me, Mary. Let me advise you. If you succeed in getting on my nerves in this palace, I promise you, I'll make this place uncomfortable for every one of you. It does not take much wisdom to know 
that a man who wants to gather all the fruits in the tree may come down not the way he climbed up father I, I don't seem to understand what direction this talk is headed Anthony you must not get or acquire all that you desire a man does not get or acquire all that he desires father if this talk is towards the girl that I brought home here I must tell you that mother has given me enough reason why I should marry the girl even now You must let go of certain things if you want to live longer than expected. Learn to manipulate situations to your advantage. How am I expected to do that? If you must excel on the throne, the throne you are looking forward to, then you must think ahead of your peers and your subjects. Anthony, if you resolve the problem between your brother Collins and that girl, this community is going to remember you. This community is going to see you as one that has made sacrifice for love, for the love of your brother. Have you thought about that? Yes. Yes. Father, you're right. You know, I never thought about it. Do you know, even in the near future, nobody, nobody would be able to accuse me of being envious of my brother. <laughs> I'm happy you're now beginning to think ahead. What did you just say? I was just saying, there's going to be a double blessing for our family as we're both getting married at the same time. <laughs> Are you getting married? Yes. She was a gave me this. <laughs> you proposed to me. And you accepted? Yes. I did. <laughs> you know, you're crying. No, no, it's just a case of Jack. Come here. Come on. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Um, How can you propose to a girl you don't even know the house? I didn't say I don't know their house. I said she said her father does not allow her and her sister to bring in male visitors to their house. That's what I said. That's not enough. Ed, stop worrying yourself over nothing. My uncle knows her family and he has assured me that they are from a very good family. The most important thing is that that girl is a nice girl. Very hardworking and very focused. Just um, put it in prayers. Put it in prayers. No, I'll do so. I'll do that, sure. My daughter. Your mother told me what happened. And I've always been proud of you girls. And I always exude that sense of fulfillment that I raised you people well. You see, I have only you and your sister. And I've never lived a life of regret that I have only girls. That a proud prince came to seek your hand in marriage and subsequently chickened out simply because his mother thinks that you're not fit for her son. It's not your fault. Not your fault at all. Mm -hmm. 
papa. I tried all I could to impress her, but it just seemed. <laughs> it's all right. Stop crying, eh? And wipe away your tears, okay? Um, you see, that man is not meant for you. I tell you what. If that one God destined for you comes to seek your hand in marriage, you are going to experience total perfection and fulfillment. Just calm down and relax your nerve. All hope is not lost. You're still very young. You see, for the fact that the sun set today does not mean it's not going to rise tomorrow. Just relax yourself, okay? Believe in yourself. Thank you, Papa. What is it? Are you all deaf and dumb? Your Majesty, we were discussing and we have an idea we want to talk to you about. An idea? What idea? Your Majesty, we're thinking if it's possible for us to organize a prayer session here. A prayer session? Yes, Your Majesty. How many of you discussed this? Mm, Your Majesty, almost all the maidens and the palace guards. So, you all want to turn this palace into a mushroom church, right? Not at all, Your Majesty. The whole idea is for us to come together after we must have finished doing what we have to do for the day, then pray for the good of this family. What did he say? He said I should reconcile you and my brother instead of getting married to you. He's right. What? Your father is right. The only problem I'm going to have now is that your mother would never accept me, even as your brother's wife. So, what are we going to do about it? I'll move on with my life. I wish you luck in finding someone that will love you the way I love you. I just hope that this whole episode will not be the yardstick with which your father and the rest of your family will use to judge your strength and determination as future king. What? What did you just say? Do you hear man? That's why you want to get married. But as the next king of Ibanta, if you don't start now to make decisions concerning your happiness and stand by it, then I'm sorry. Nobody will ever take you serious. I'm not going to take it. I cannot take this. Thanks for the hospitality. You're welcome. We did not tell you we were coming. 
yet you prepared this great feast for us. What if we had told you we are coming? <laughs> what will you have done? <laughs> hey, Mazibe, you know it has been a long time. And you have always been a good man. And for the fact that you are in my house today, I know that good things must follow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your hospitality, sir. You're welcome, my son. It's the Mazibe. You know, I mean, it gives me joy when I see young men like this who are not scared of uh, taking on the responsibility of uh, getting married. <laughs> it's a thing of joy, honestly. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm grateful. I am not saying that you're already in law, <laughs> <laughs> Until I compare from my daughter. <laughs> then we can now begin to make arrangements and talk as in laws. <laughs> <laughs> You know my father will not find it funny with me if I come home late. He should have told me he was staying out late now. Good evening, my daughter. You should have told me you were already home instead of burning my head. Um, see, your father is an old friend of mine. And we had great time in his house today. My father. Oh. <laughs> cool, but what did you go to visit my father for? Oh. <laughs> he will tell you when you get home. Why did you visit my father? He will tell you when you get home. No. <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. Your father and my uncle work together at the Nigerian Airways. Boo -boo. After the war. Did you know that they fought together? Join the Boo -boo, tell me now. You want me to tell you? What's that? Hope you took good care of them. Yes, I did. Uh, as if I knew we will be having visitors, and your mother cooked a very delicious meal before leaving. <laughs> Papa, <laughs> I came back and uh, my pot was empty. <laughs> I asked, and your father said uh, some people came because of you. Um, who is the young man? He's a good friend of mine and I've known him for a while now. And he wants to marry me. Hey! God, I thank you. So, this is how God wants to wipe away my tears. Mama. The tears of disappointment that Prince and his mother brought to my eyes. Oh, I thank God. My daughter, I am happy for you. Woman, <laughs> take it easy. They have only come to indicate interest. Hmm? It is now left for us to ask questions about the young man. You are right, my husband. But that wouldn't stop me from being happy. At least my daughter is getting married now. I should be happy now. Uh, you have every right to be happy. I should be happy. No. Thank God for you, my daughter. Thank God. 
that girl was right. I know I wanted her to spite Collins, but she's making me like her more every day. I brought up the issue of getting married, and if I allowed him to dictate who becomes my bride, that would be the beginning of my failure as a future king whose decision would be final. I won't allow anybody to push me around. Yes, I am the future king of Umbanta. And my authority is supposed to have started being felt around here. By truth and justice, a kingdom stands. But by lies, it falls apart. Greed and jealousy, hatred and envy, only tears us apart, only breaks us down. start asking for food. Listen, as long as this family has money to feed everyone, I will ask for food whenever I'm hungry and wherever I want it. Okay, no time. Anyway, I know where to go. Get to the dining and don't find my food. Cockroaches. Idiot. 
What are, what, are, what, are, what are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here when I don't have my breakfast ready? My prince, you're still, you're, you're still looking at me. Stop it. One shot, my prince. Let, 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 let me get inside and I don't mind. I dreamt that I was kissing people. Just when my breakfast is not ready. I said, I said, what are you doing, idiot? What are you doing? You're looking at me. Stupid. Nonsense. Let me get two of you. Bunch of idiots. Don't tell my wife. I want her here. Also run to Ichi Onora's house and ask him to see me now. Yes, Your Majesty. Water on you. This point stands on you. What is it? Eh? What is Jesse you? It's Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, what is going on? Not I imagine this buffoons. I wanted an early breakfast and I checked the dining table, there was no food. And when I looked up on them, they were still sleeping. You can all you can all go. It's all right, Anthony. Hmm? Breakfast is being prepared. Very soon you will have your breakfast, okay? But mother, if they had gone to bed early yesterday, instead of turning the whole palace into a church, this wouldn't... They did what they did with my permission. But I'm sure they must have learned their lesson. It's okay. Okay. Excuse me, mother. Your Majesty, the king wants to see you. It's okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. Greetings to you, my elder. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I'll bring you to my house. I hope there is no problem. His Majesty requests for your presence, sir. His Majesty? Yes, sir. Tell him I'm coming. Thank you, sir. I have waited very patiently for you to tell me where Collins is. 
Now I realize that my waiting is in vain and my patience draws thin. Where is Collins? Wherever he is now, he is not suffering the humiliation. You and Anthony are always rubbing in on him in this house. Caroline, those things are now in the past. I need to bring him home so that I can make amends. He's not actually hiding. He just wanted you and Anthony to take whatever it is you want. Caroline. See. I have given a lot of thought to everything that has been happening. And I can't help feeling for the young man, for our son. I have a feeling that he thinks that his family has betrayed him. I will not betray my son. So, I want to see him. I want to bring him back so that he can take his rightful position. Your Majesty, I have to come as soon as possible. Yes, Nzonwar, I, I have realized the mistake I was on the verge of making. I want to put things right before they become too late. I need you to accompany me to my wife's place to bring back my son. Your Majesty, who? Collins. Your Majesty, you don't have to worry about that issue. I'm happy you are beginning to put things right. With a couple of elders, we go to Mbahuku and bring back your son. Thank you very much. But you see, my presence there will make the desired impact. That's how I want it. Igwe, I'm ready. I am not comfortable with the idea of Vivian getting married to someone she knows next to nothing about. Mm -hmm. What does she really know about this Chibwezi? Or he will just come and we'll, we'll, we'll give Vivian to him like that. Emma, what makes you think I know next to nothing about him? That I once told you I know nothing about him doesn't mean I couldn't have asked questions. Mm, questionnaire, right here. I don't think what Emma said is out of point. Oh, Mama, thank you very much. I am happy that you are getting married. But I need to. You all were witnesses to the kind of man I brought to this house. A man of substance. My dear sister, if you have to get married for your own future, it will be good that you, you marry somebody that will transform your life for the better. Think about it. Ima, it's not the kind of man that you marry that matters. You should think of where to be happy. That is what matters in marriage. I don't even know what you people take this uh, the best nephew for. Papa, he doesn't even have a car. <coughs> eh, Mama, leave me alone. Ordinary Volkswagen, he does not have it. Mama, it's not you that was telling me that they nearly finished the food in the house before you came back. <coughs> See, let me tell you the truth. I love you, so I'll tell you the truth. Vivian, you are my sister. Mama, leave me alone. You see, this is your complexion, this is your yellow papa. You will just turn to blacky. When you marry him, your life will bend like crayfish. Be wise. We it's it's okay, it's okay. Stop, Immaculate, stop. Do you know that I know this Ibe, Ibe for a very long time? Do you know I've known him for a very long time? And it may surprise you to know that his only sister is the Queen of Mbanta. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Mama, if you believe that, then you believe anything. 
トークリストトークリスの簡単じゃん It's obvious that I mean little or nothing to you, mother. Yes, things are quiet now. And I've even promised to be a better person. All I want... Oh, wait, wait. What has it got to do with what we're talking about? A lot, mom. A lot. That you allow the a whole king of Umbanta to go looking for Collins. That's humiliating on the part of the king, mother. And secondly, it shows how much you have ended up convincing him beyond all reasonable doubt that Collins is better than me. Anthony, what is humiliating with a father going out there to bring his son back home? After all, Jesus Christ washed the feet of his disciples. That Mother Caesar is my father, not Collins' father. And he's not Jesus Christ either. Anthony, why have you refused to see things from a different perspective? With the way you're going, you will end up like the proverbial fly that will be buried with the cops because it refuses to heed advice. I can now see where the love rests. Chibesi, I have not finished my own uh, food. In case this is not enough, don't allow it to waste. <laughs> Where are you going to? Your Majesty, you should have sent for me instead of coming all the way to Mbaku. I came to see my son. I came to take my son home. Come on, son. Come on, Prince. So, who is the young lady with you? She's my friend. She's from this town. Her name is Vivian. Sam, relax. All is well. Hmm? There is no way I'm going to shy away from my responsibility as a father. Son, I am here as your father. And I'm asking you to come back to the palace and take up your position. I couldn't ask for more, father. But I think I still want to be here for a while. And he thought, no, no, you have a place at the palace in Mbanta. Nobody asked me to leave, so I didn't run away because that's my home. I just wanted somewhere to stay and meditate without any kind of interference whatsoever. I think I still need some time to think about my coming back. Hmm. 
The girl I saw with you outside. What kind of a relationship do you have with her? We're very close. Have you been proposed to her? You have. <laughs> Alright. So, since I'm here already, and I'm sure the girl is from this community, why don't we go see the parents? See the family. What do you say? You have to bath with that soap for seven days. In those seven days, no man will touch you. Even Anthony, you have nothing to worry about if Anthony is a woman. After the seven days, no force or power that will stop you from getting married to Anthony. Thank you, wise one. Thank you. Go in peace, my daughter. Your Majesty. Thanks indeed for your hospitality. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Um, I went to see my son, who is staying in the house of uh, his uncle, Mazibe. Then I saw this wonderful lady. And from the story my son, told me regarding both of them, I realized that he had eyes for good things, just like his father. <laughs> I now decided to visit the home that produced this wonderful girl. I greet you, Your Majesty. Uh, you see, a man of your status does not enter a house simply because there is a roof over it. That is true. Let me call my daughter. You do that. Um, Vivian. Vivian. Um, Vivian, yes, should I ask His Majesty and his people to come for you? Yes, Papa. So, <laughs> what are we waiting for? Nothing. Let's go ahead and fix the date immediately. Huh? And then proceed to give them a wonderful wedding. The greatest wedding ever witnessed in this part of the world. Well, Your Majesty, if it is the will of God that both of them will get married, who am I to put us under? One's personal God. I mean, one's personal Chi. Does not disagree over what one has said, yes. Exactly. Yes. Ah, this Agwara is more than strong. I have not even started using the soap, and Anthony has come back for me in style. Is my prince inside?
Your Majesty. Yes, that's me, Doctor. Never. Very good. not about exaggeration. I just only asked because I really want to know the truth. Then why should I be lying about a thing as serious as this? I said Immaculate fainted. So you mean she saw Prince Collins and Vivian and she fainted? She thought she could play through brothers just like that. She wants to eat her cake and have it back. I know. You know what they say? Birds of a feather flocking together. Immaculate and her legs will always be fainting in the face of trouble. Wonders shall never cease to happen. I'm telling you, sister. I'm telling you. She has only herself to blame, no matter what. Okay, agreed that she tried reaching Collins on the phone, but couldn't. What effort did she make to reach him through us? All right, but Collins should be blamed too for not reaching out to her. Mother. What's wrong? Well, nothing much. Mm. We were just talking about Immaculate. What about her? Your father went to bring your brother Collins back home. When he got there, he discovered that Collins now has a new girl he wants to get married to. So he decided to pay the girl's parents a visit. When he got there, he found out that the girl in question is Immaculate's younger sister. Are you for real? <laughs> This is unbelievable. You can say that again. Was Collins aware that the girl he intends to marry is Immaculate's younger sister? I don't think he knew. But one thing is certain. Immaculate knew that Anthony is Collins's brother. Yet, she switched over to him. This is quite unbelievable. Yeah, uncle. But you have to believe me. I never knew that both of them were related. The first time I saw Vivian was the day she came with her colleagues to repair your meter and check on your light bills. Oh, oh. Was she the girl who came with them? Yes. And I only started dating her after I saw Immaculate and Anthony together. I asked my friend to check on them and he informed me that they are now enjoying a fully blossomed romance. Oh, that was part of what weighed you down and not just the issues at home. Exactly. So what do you intend doing now? Uncle, there's nothing else to do than to go ahead and marry Vivian. I was carried away in the euphoria of a singular action, the king carried away and made me to forget we had an appointment. Hmm. What could that be? It so happened that Prince Collins has been away for a while. Yes. What about it? Considering what has been happening at the royal family, I was surprised when Igwe asked me to accompany him to his in-laws' place to plead with Prince Collins and bring him back. I never expected that. Not at all. 
Chief Honor, we all know that the king wants his biological son to take over from him. But his sudden change of mind to go and play with Prince Collins doesn't really sound good to me. <laughs> hmm. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about? Yes. <laughs> you know what they say. No. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't think Prince Collins is anybody's fool. But we must make sure that the peace of this community is not disrupted in any way. Stay away from him. Vivian, stay away from him. You know marry him. You cannot marry him. How, how can you think of marrying my ex? Eh? Hasn't it occurred to you that Prince Anthony is an ex? to a string of all the girls. Sh 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 shut up! You are my sister. And you are supposed to be ashamed of yourself. You're supposed to be ashamed, Vivian. Ashamed of what? Ashamed of what? You were lying to me all along. Listen, Ima. You were dating Prince Collins. And when his younger brother started showering you with gifts, you changed like a chameleon and you followed him. Don't insult me. Don't try to insult me. Don't try it. I need to tell you the truth once and for all. So that you stop carrying on as if someone is denying you of anything. I met Chibweze on my own. And I had no idea that he was related to Prince Anthony at all. But you knew from the onset. Enough! The brothers. Enough! Away from him! I will not warn you again. I will not warn you again. I'm getting married to him. serving her purpose, which is to tell Collins that I'm better, and I'll send her back. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. Anthony, I'm sure you did not hear a word of what I said. And what was that? I said that you should forget about the idea of getting married to that girl. Mother, if I was still in that line of argument, then I could submit that if Collins would wake up one day like he had done and decide to marry his ex-girlfriend's younger sister, then I don't see anything wrong in his ex-girlfriend marrying his younger brother. Case closed. Anthony, what's this jumble of words all about? Listen, Vivian knew Collins by the name my brothers and sisters call him. So. But Immaculate knew that both of you are brothers before scheming her way in between you two. I could really need that kind of a schema to make things work out fine for me. Mother. Why don't we just let sleeping dog lie? I believe your father has finally realized the mistake he was about to make and has come back to his senses. So I am here to appeal to you to please come back home. But mother, I already promised you I was going to come back home. When? 
I just want to quietly come back to where I left. Collins, no one says you shouldn't tell your mother when you're coming back home. Unless you want to change your mind. Oh, how could you say a thing like that? Then, put my mind to rest and tell me. And you have to promise me you will not disappoint me. Truth and justice I told you it is permitted to cry here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You should be presenting your problems to the dentist and not her tears. I'm very sorry. What is your problem, my daughter? <laughs> I, I have finished betting with this soap. <laughs> Instead of Anthony to come for me, his other uh, brother also my my younger sister. <laughs> is that all? I don't want to lose out. People will mock me to death if I don't marry Anthony. The soap you use is still effective. Eh. But your sister will get married before you. Hey. Hey. Hey, why is one? Why is one? Because. Why is one? Please now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't question my spiritual insight. Make sure you don't have any differences with your sister. So that you could go to the palace with her. When you get in there, every other thing will take place. Thank you. Thank you, I suppose. Hold on. I have something for you. Thanks once more for your concern. You are welcome. I think it's the right step in the right direction. I agree with you. But all I'm trying to do now is to make sure that coming back to the palace will not be of his own detriment. I know about that. Thank you. Under no circumstances must he allow the euphoria of coming back to the palace, blind him. While staying in the palace, you must be very careful. <laughs> he is ever vigilant. <laughs> Let's continue. With the kind of reception you have given him and the effort you have put into it, <laughs> a 
any doubt about the genuineness of your change of heart has been completely been erased. I see. So, there is nothing further that should be done and no other way. If you send that boy to the furtherest of the earth, when you die, the people will go and bring him back and make him king. If you want your son to be king, that is the only way. And the less he knows about it, the more he is protected and the better for him. Yes. For real. For real. I am the architect of what has befallen me. I have no right blaming anybody for it. I apologize to all of you. Please, for, for, forgive me. Vivian, please. Forgive all that I said to you. Just remember that as your only sister, all I said to you was out of love. Sorry. I am happy that at least you realize that uh, none of us here meant any evil. It's okay now. Hmm? What happened doesn't in any way mean that you won't get married again. By His grace, you will have yours, okay? It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I feel terrible for all that I said to you. Please, I'm sorry. to go and bring back Collins. Little did I know that he had already planned a tumultuous welcome for him. What game is he playing? I'm sure mother is now controlling him. I'm nobody's fool. And if this has come to a war of wits, I'll show them that a snake does not give birth to a dove. Brother, why are you doing this? Everyone is out there celebrating and you chose to isolate yourself. Nice to see you again. The truth is that I know when you came back home, but I was too ashamed to come work on you. Come on. I know that I've, I've wronged you in so many ways before now. But please, do look for a way in your heart to forgive me for all that I've done against you. Tony. You're my brother, and you will always be my brother.
I don't know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You care. You created the heavens. You created everything. You created us. Then you created this couple. Come and witness today that we are blessing this couple. Two work you care. I say this couple. Onogamu Ozuzunko. Onogamu Ozuzu. Oh, yeah. Ozuzu eke. Onogamu. You will bear children. Many children. You will train your children. Then your children will train you. Yes or no? Oh, of course, you're beautiful. Hmm? <laughs> I'm happy to work on it. Ahead. Emma, I'm happy everything is going on well. Please, look after her very well as a big sister, okay? After the prayers, tell her that I called to know how she's feeling. Hmm? Your father is here. Let me give you the phone. Mm -hmm. Hello, Emma. Oh, that's fine. How are you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay. I hope everything is going on fine. Yes, yes. Hey, please, please. Make sure you represent us very well over there. Please. It's all right. All right. You don't have to allow whatever happened in the past to weigh you down. You just have to rise above it and move on. Okay? 
I'm trying, Vivian. <sighs> so this is where you girls are holed up. Mary, it's been a hectic day and I just wanted to slip away and take a rest. It's okay, I understand. So, what are you going to cook for us? Cook? Yes, you're a new wife and in our tradition, you are to cook for us. Hmm. <laughs> well, that is to say that you all are in for a huge surprise. Hmm. Because I learned from the best mother in the world. Wow. <laughs> Come in, Tessa, So, so. Yeah, um. So, what's going on here? Oh, great job for. I never hid the fact that I was very suspicious of the king's intention in suddenly trying to make peace and also bring Prince Collins home. My dear, I showed some concern over that too. But did you see the type of reception he gave to Prince Collins? Of course I saw it. And I also heard that Prince Collins had wanted to quietly come back home. He didn't know that the king had a big surprise for him. As a matter of fact, all my doubts have disappeared. <laughs> but we need to look forward for greater things ahead. Oh, great job. Oh. I'm telling you, you see me, Mwajike. I am once more proud to be a son of <laughs> We <Mata>. do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Worst case scenario. Anthony will marry the two sisters and nobody will raise an eyebrow. And since he wouldn't know about it, there won't be any sense of guilt. Your Majesty. The best thing for you to do now is to publicly treat him well. Let Mbanta see how remorseful you are about what he has gone through. That way, everybody will be off guard and then you would strike. And no one would suspect you. I see. I see. any suspicion I have given you a ring and the best time to use it is when the family is at meal everybody if you point the ring with caution at him he will die body or the food is taken to anywhere, no poison will be found. In that way, no one will blame you for his death.
Immaculate. Immaculate. Hmm? Are you alright? No, I'm fine. What are you saying? Please, just help me take care of this food. Let me go and freshen up. I'm running late. You don't have to worry. Go. I'm here. Thank you. I may not have another opportunity to, to do this. Oh God. Does it have to be this tricky? How do I even know the plate he's going to use? Hmm? Sorry, Auntie. It's not allowed here. Everybody eats from what is served on the table. I'm sorry. Truth and justice. Taste of the pudding remains in the eating. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> baby. Mm, oh, mm. baby. Collins, 
you bless the meal. Huh. What's going on? Please, let somebody go to the palace, please. Please. Go to the palace and do what? Please go to the palace and tell, and tell. The guards. Who is surprised? Ezemo, what have you done? Huh? Amadika, are you with me? I, I can't understand this. Please hurry to the palace. Please hurry to the palace! That's a new ring you're wearing. Hmm? You like it? I don't know, it looks weird. I don't understand what you two are talking about. Can you give me the watermelon, please? Okay. Put it here, the big one. Okay. Thank you. Do you want me to help you cut it? Mm -hmm. I'm good. I can just cut it into two so that it'll be easy for you. No, mm. no, okay. It's true. <laughs> Mama is now. Uh, <laughs> no talking on the table. table. Yeah, no talking we are, we are on the table. In the studio, <laughs> no talking on the table because it's not Anthony that talked. Uh -uh. If he was calling, you wouldn't say anything. Of it. No, I didn't. I didn't talk. I just murmured. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Drink some water, please. Light in his food. Bella, I can't thank you enough. Thank, thank you. You don't need to thank me now. After the deed is done, the battle is lost and won. Then you cannot come back and thank me and my daddy. I will not fail about And one more thing. I know after Tony has taken this substance, he will madly fall in love with you. Hmm. But one thing I cannot assure you is what will happen to any other person that tastes it. Be careful, wise one. Hmm. Please do.
what is it? You are so weak for the man you called father. But how would you have known that he had wanted to kill you at meal today? Are you insane? Better watch what you say or, 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 unless I punch your teeth out and force this Bible down your throat. Tell come now. You can do whatever you want. But I still want to tell you that the love meal's charm that was prepared for you was what your father mistakenly ate. Who are you and what are you rambling about? The girl is still in the palace. Uh, please, please come. Please, please come and explain. Please. The ring. The ring is a mystery. We left Ezemo's house and quickly went to the palace. It was a different story. I'm with you. Go straight to the point. <sighs> Instead of calling me fear dead as told by Ezemo, it was the king that will rush to the hospital. The king? Yes. Huh? Rush to the hospital? <sighs> hey! What happened? Honor, the king is dead. Hey! If in assistance now, I'm going back to the hospital. The evil that men do, they said live after them before, but now it lives with them. Lest I forget, Ezemo is also dead. Ezemo, also? Ha! Anarchies lose upon him, Banta. Ha! I'm finished. My childhood friend. Um, I'm only. I'm leaving. I Let's get inside. It's okay. Be a man, be a man. Let's get inside. My child. We are the other mates. Then will the queen my please. When the other guards return, relate what I am going to tell you now to them. Do you understand me? Yeah, yes, my princess. If I don't get the truth, I will make life miserable for all of you. Please, please, you can't leave me here. Please stay with me. You don't need to tell our parents here. They don't need to know. Please. Yes. Somebody need to tell them, and it has to be me. So stay here while I go and sleep. Both of you are coming with me now. Huh? You mean my sister, I think? Are you deaf? I said both of you. Stop asking me silly questions. I've just got a call from Anthony. And from what he said, there's every reason to believe that 
Immaculate and Vivian know exactly what happened to my father. I'd like to hear from their notes. Vivian, why? Answer me, why? What did the people of Umbanda do to you? What evil have we committed against you that made you to kill and poison our king? Huh? It, 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 I didn't poison him. How can I do such evil? How can I? I only cook that tradition to hands so how can I poison him? Shut up! What tradition? It's here. Good job, for. She Nora. She won't eat from the plate the king ate. Hey! Please, please! Take her to the dining. She must eat from the plates at which my father ate from. Please! Why don't you girls confess? Huh? You were the same people who served the king the food he ate this morning. And you're saying you have no hand in it. So, I swear to God, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know. Look, why can't you girls tell us the truth and be free? So you guys don't believe us. We don't know. Eh? Seriously, I was not there. I was not even in the kitchen when the food was being prepared. So I am not involved. You were not there when the food was prepared. You better confess. You better confess, the three of you. You don't know where this case is landing all of us into. Better confess. The better you say the truth.
the murderer. He, she killed our king. We shall hand her over to the police. That's our duty. Now, for us, we are going out there to discuss on how we can send her to our Please. Move, move, move. Mouth and ask me for mess, you immaculate. You, I'm sorry, I'm very no, very no, 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 immaculate. You will show sure rot in hell. Hey, no, you I'm will sorry. rot in hell. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 don't tell me, that. officer. Take no. her away before I kill her with my bare hands. Take her away, please. 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 Take her away, Oh. That, that's father's new ring. What are you doing with it? Ezemo gave father this ring, and he was to use it to throw me at that same dining table. Father wanted to kill you so that Anthony would take after him. Maybe. Collins, please, I beg of you. Look for a way in your heart to forgive me. I know I've wronged you in too many ways before now. But as for father wanting to kill you, my hands are clean, I have no hands in it. I beg you for forgiveness, please. I've no grudges against you. You're my brother. And I've forgiven you. Thank you. I believe you. That you didn't have any hand in the plan to kill me. This man of God has opened our eyes to all that happened. <clears throat> God will bless this royal family. Amen. And let it continue reigning upon you from age to age. Amen. The peace that only Jesus Christ of Nazareth can shower be upon you all. Amen. Please let us pray. Our precious Father, we thank you for breaking this yoke. We thank you for your mercies upon this family. We ask for more grace upon you. Amen. Us in, Amen. in Jesus' name I have prayed. Edmund, please have a seat. Um, what would you like to drink? I don't want anything. Edmund, I understand how you feel, okay? Um, but I know you don't expect me to fall like a jelly on hate, yeah? I don't expect you to do that either. And I know you're aware I'm not here just because you sent for me. But because of the love I have for your family. Nice to know. Anyway, straight to the point, I'd I like you to know that, you know, you, you're a man. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Things went wrong, in, especially in my family. 
A lot of things were upside down in the palace. It affected my whole psyche. It affected the thing that I said. And that's why I said the things that I said to you. Mr. Edmond, I must say thank you for honoring my call. And I want to use this medium to say I'm sorry for what transpired between you and I at the palace the other day. I was disinformed. But now, I know the truth. So I must say sorry. It's all right. It's all right. I'm, I'm glad we put that behind us. Yes. So, you can give me the handshake. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 